If you're really early and you want some crumble, come on, raise your hand. Or, or, or don't like you. you, you don't have to, I'm not calling you out here. The day of fry. How are we all doing? Hello, 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 hello. Let me say hello to the people as I see you. Who do I see? Heartfang, Brewing Nettles, Waver Neighbor, Chef Hot Dog Water, Starstruck, Izzy Looney, Grimwood, Just a House Plans. Hello. How are you doing? And Starstruck, and Ewan, Nyalo, and Fever Dream, I see you. And Ari, and Potato and Crime, and PC Peep, and Alex of Ohio, and Kira. Hello. How's everybody doing? Are we well? Are we having a good day on this day today? Adora Dine, hello! 
Johansson and John Sko and Ink the Red. Hello. Are we moving? Are we grooving? I, I left my lipstick on the table. Give me a second. Hang out to move this. <laughs> Holy holy. Who else do we have that I'm not so low to? Araxia and Kevin Watt and Pickhead, hello. And NTK, hello. And Zorvi True, thank you for 27 months. Oh, thank you very much. Jay Tezel, hello. Archive, hello. PG Wipeout, hello. Back in the US and moved to my new house, yes. New house, new house. Kira says I'm watching with the lower volume at work, lads. You know, you know the drill. Don't make too much noise. Kira's at work, all right? I'm watching you. No one could spook you, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, it's lovely to be here. It's lovely to be making something kind of, kind of seasonal, I guess. Like I, it's September. So as far as I'm concerned, once September hits, it is fully autumn. I don't care what temperature it is outside. It, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> totally tubular, Tima. Hello, how are you doing? Are we ready to get grooving? Are we ready, ready to get moving? Hello. <laughs> I'm here, I'm present. It feels a little dark in here because the lighting is just a little, I don't know, it's a bit wibbly or something. There's something up with it, but I don't know what. Oh, Vladimir, hello, Ebby, hello, and you and <laughs> We're not here five minutes. Thank you Queen for the, the deadly dish. Crab, <laughs> crab. Oh dear. Thank you for the bits. Pony Bookworm, hello, been a while, but Bacana and I are here with a new friend. Snuggle to see you. Ah, so cute. I've been seeing Bacana. I saw the pie you made as well. It looked very good. It looked very, very good. Zarga Dragon, hello. Mochimo uh, says, Cake, have you got your Halloween tree up yet? No. Because we don't have space for a Halloween tree. We barely have, to be honest, we don't really have space for a Christmas tree. But very slow. Oh my goodness, wait, wait, wait. We do have a new Halloween thing. I didn't show you the, the spooky ghost. Snooks feel, hello. I need to run through the house. I need to show you this. I need to get it. It's in the front room. I gotta go. How did I f <laughs> McDara went to Dunn stores and came back with this. Look at this little guy. Mm. Archive, that was so well timed. Thank you so much for the bits. Look, Willow Jade, hello. Look at this friend. Apparently, Dunn stores have a load of really good Halloween stuff at the minute. We love to see it. A huggable ghost. Sorry, I'm kind of muffling. I'm, I'm muffling you a little bit. PG Wipeout, thank you so much for the bits. The Gigawatt strikes back. Look at this little buddy. Little buddy. Nightfall Mayor, hello, spooky. Holy moly. And, lads, thank you for kicking off a hype train. We only just got here. I'm gonna put this ghost away where it can't get bits of food and debris on it. Which is funny, because I don't have any cheese in the house at the minute. Actually, no, that's a lie. I got a block of cheddar this morning, and that's all we got. That's all we got. Just a house plant. All right. Five minutes, let's go. Five minutes, get it out of your system. Natalie Craggs, hello. We currently got banana on the cake in the oven and onto bacon and cheese turnovers. Yes, the good stuff. Melinda Magpie, hello. I'm happy to share I received my name changed court order. I'm legally Melinda there. Yes, give it up for Melinda. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, that must be so nice to have that done. I'm so happy for you. We love to see it. We love to see it. Give it up right now. Can <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> Butterlight Pea Flower, thank you so much for eight months. Eight months since you first dropped in here and never escaped again. <laughs> and JL Candy, thank you for 26 months. 26 of them. And Grimwood, thank you for the bits. Oh, lads, we're, we're grooving, we're, we're moving today. We are, as far as I've been told, we're going to be on the front page again today, but from two o'clock. So we, we have our usual little chat, our mess, and then we're gonna start baking in a while. You know, we, we, have, to, we have to pace ourselves. You know, we gotta pace ourselves. <laughs> While the hype train's ongoing, let me tell you, we do finally have a sub goal. Do I have it here? I forgot to put the, I actually for completely forgot to change the command, so I'll do that in a second. Because it's September, we're bumping it up by just a little. It's 800 this month. We have already gone through so much, it's only early in the month. But if we hit it, we're gonna do a Jackbox stream with the moderators. Jackbox with the mods. We're so far already. I didn't realize really until I was, I was setting up the goal. I was like, Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> we'll cause some trouble. Oh, lads, but how is everybody? Are we having a good time? Do we have our water? Water. Let me tell you as well, this is not the only stream I'm going to be on this 
day. I am going to be on a, I need to get the exact, the exact name. The exact exact name. Give me one second. I'm worried the exact name. The exact name. Here we go. So we're going to be on the Queer Foodies panel hosted by Donut Tart uh, at Gaming Live, which is happening this evening. It's going to be at 7 p.m. this evening. So I will ping you over in Discord for that and I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be very, very good. Very, very good. Delicious. Pure water. Oh, it's, hang on. It's, no, you're all right. To be fair to you, hang on. Uh, I think it's... Oh! Hang on a second, I'm gonna get this. I think it's a different channel. Hang on, hang on, we got this, we got this. Gaming panels, hang on, I got it! I got it this time! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> okay, that's the one, that's the one. Dr. Mad Lawyer, thank you for 11 months! That's a long L time. That is a long L time. Heather the Hellion says, Hello Cake, I have my copy of Splatoon 3. Lads, can we get some excited from excitement for Splatoon 3? Out today. I've never played Splatoon, but I'm just so excited for everybody who has who is into Splatoon. I'm just, I'm over the moon for you. Like, I'm, I'm so excited for you. I'm just, yeah, 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 yeah. You love it. You love it. Oh. Hands in the air. Who is, who is on the Splatoon train today? I'm way thirstier than I thought I was. <laughs> you know when you start drinking water and you're like, I'm gonna eat this bottle. <laughs> Trifolium is <laughs> over the spoon. <laughs> Fever Dream says, playing story mode at the minute, that's so good. Yes, I'm so glad. Jay Hollister, though, already playing. You're right too, why hang about? Um, Nora Gubbin, very good, very good. We have Melinda Magpie playing as well. Exciting times, lads. I feel like a lot of people who are playing are not here and that's completely fine. Like, I, I do not blame you at all. Like, it's so nice to, have a game that you've been waiting for and just get entirely stuck into it as soon as it comes out. You're just like, this is this is me, I'm gone. This is me, that's all I need. Seal the Steel, hello, and Bobby, hello, and NTK says, I've never played Splatoon, my copy of Splatoon 3 is in the mail. Yes, 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 yes. And Vanya, hello, playing as well. Now lads, you've one minute left. You got an early one today, an early one. So you have to make the most of it, all right? Make the most of it. Wait there, see, I thought it was maybe a fiction character on it. Okay, we do need to talk about something. Marie, hello, how are you doing? So, yesterday, or at least recently enough, there was a... <laughs> I, I'm going to assume, for the sake of it, that most of you know the concept of like a Tumblr sexy man. It's like a fictional character who is popular on Tumblr, popular with the masses, gets loads of fan art, all the stuff, and is usually just like, like a scrumly little guy. And Sans Undertale won the poll, <laughs> from what I understand. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> so as, as he should, I mean, look, I don't even know who the other character is, because I've been so out of the loop. I, I, have, I don't use Tumblr, I don't know what the, the character's from, so I'm completely out of the loop. Completely out. <gasps> Aspen, hello! <laughs> you play says you mean that guy from the Lorax. Oh yeah. We're not going back there. We're not going back there. Mr. Koi Carpelo was the narrator in the poll. I don't know. I didn't check. I actually did not see. Did Toby Fox acknowledge it? That's so good. I'm so happy. Game holder, hello. It was 0.1%. That's that's very, very close. Miku, hello. Thank you for 23 months. If you can't in the exact percentage of your hair that it's black, I have one. It, it's, it's a bit. That's a technical term, a bit. <laughs> Miko, it's lovely to see you. I hope you've been keeping well. I hope so. Lucy Woozy, hello. He tweeted something in the comments. Oh my goodness, that's so good. We're not going back there. Why? How bad could it be? I am not going back to one slur hell tumbler. I'm not going back there. You can't bring me back there. You cannot force me to go back. Apollo's dagger, hello. It's been it's been it's been non-stop this week. Freud, hello. It's going well. We're just having a good old chat, a bit of mess, and you know yourself getting getting warmed up, taking these. Don't talk about the dark age. Back where to to old fandom Tumblr. It's a way back. It's a way back. All right. I cannot wait a moment longer. Who wants a cup of tea? Hands in the air. Who wants tea? Who wants tea? I even pre-boiled the kettle so that it would not be loud for as long. I thought ahead. Hands in the air if you want tea, and your hands not in the air, you can't have a cup of tea. I really shouldn't do that because it'll probably break the tea bag. 
it's all good. Not broken. And Mika says I'm currently working on my job thing and stuff, whatever one calls the stupid letter in which has, one has to list their disappointing lack of achievements. Oh no! Ah, Mika, you'll get on grand. You'll get on absolutely grand. I believe in you. I believe. I believe. Balanik, hello! How are you doing? Who else have we got in there? That one's hello to Skittermander and Manda, hello. Everybody getting a cup of tea today. 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 Ah. Not another jerk, hello! Um, Ink the Red says, do you have any seasonal teas when it gets colder? I do, but I tend to just end up going back to the same tea. Like, the only other teas I really drink are this lemon and ginger tea. And I usually just drink that if I'm feeling a bit unwell. I suppose I suppose I do bring it out a little more in winter. Like whenever the weather's cold, I'd be much more inclined to go for it, you know? Hey, Google. Set a five minute timer. Sure, five minutes, starting now. Cool, cool. Don't spill the tea, just drink it instead. Vermilion Chaos, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Here says customers left so I can turn up the volume again. All right, that's it. Let's... The volume's up. We're, we're grooving. What? Why did it turn itself down? Anyway. All right, we're going wild in the aisles. In Kira's work, we're just going for it. This is going to, it's gonna turn itself off in a minute and it's gonna go wild. Pancake Kid, hello, excited for nutmeg season. I was actually very tempted to put a little bit of nutmeg in with these night. It wouldn't be traditional, but who's going to stop me? Nutmeg is so nice, it's really, really good. Mother, why are you withholding the beans? I would never do something like that. Just a houseplant, thank you for 16 months. And the day after normal Thursday too, I'll tell you something lads. And French fries, hello. Do you want the beans? Because there was no beans last week. We, we couldn't source the beans last week. It couldn't be done. It couldn't be done. It wasn't possible. Mm -mm. Do you want them? Vote now on your phones. Do you want them? Or are you over it? Pigeon, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Polly Booker says, I use nutmeg and apple pie, but mostly cinnamon. Also mix cinnamon in with the pastry. A little cinnamon in the pastry is actually really nice. I did that with, it wasn't an, maybe it was an apple pie or crumble. I suppose it would have been. I don't know what else I would have made where I would have had flavors like that all together, do you know? All together. I don't know why I'm doing, I know why I'm doing this because I saw a spy, so many, okay, I'm not gonna talk about spiders for more than 10 seconds. So if you're really arachnophobic, cover yours. Spiders everywhere, everywhere, every corner of the house. I'm going around the Hoover. I'm spraying the peppermint oil They're everywhere. They're driving me mad. That's it, just had to get out of my system. If you see me jump, it's probably spider. Done, done, done. No more spider talk. That's done, it's enough. <laughs> Bobbington, hello! Lovely to see you, how are you doing? Peppermint oil, yeah, I, I don't fully know if it works or not, but apparently, apparently spiders don't like peppermint. I'm really not sure if it's coincidence or if it does work, but uh, it's it's no strain to do it, I suppose. Beans and apple crumble, or did I miss something? No, 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 we don't we don't eat the beans, not, not on stream at least. Nebulous, hello! Man, this is a bit more of our work, at work? I don't know how about it's healing up now. Ooh. Oh, don't like that. Zero mass bones is good news. Got my top choice college offer yesterday! Yes! Give it up for Zero Mash Bones! Hey, you're going to college! Hey, hey, hey! Ah, oh, that's so good! To get your first choice as well, that's incredible! We love to see it. We love to see it! Oh my goodness. Whew! Whew, it's all happening. It's all happening. I feel like my chat display is really small, but I can't seem to make it any- Oh, never, never mind, never mind. I just remembered how, how things work. Now I can see you better. <laughs> Oh, holy moly. Oh. So, I decided to make apple, little, little teeny tiny apple crumbles because I'm going camping the weekend and I wanted to make something that I could bring with me because I've gotten really bad at remembering to actually drop off baked goods to people, you know, like to friends and stuff. So, we can bring these. We can have a little camping snacks. We can eat our little apple crumbles, you know? Oh, no, the jerk says I graduated on Wednesday. Yes, go Nile. Oh, delighted for you. It goes by fast, doesn't it? It nooms by. You love to see it. Oh, you love to see it. 
Um, Pancake Kid says, Irish Spring Soap helps get rid of flies. I'm not sure about other bugs. I don't know if I know Irish Spring Soap. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe I've seen it and I just didn't register it in my head. I don't know. I don't know, but I'll keep an eye out for it. Jedha says me, oh, there's a spot or two of rain. I'll get me washing off the line. Ten minutes later, the heavens have opened. Torrential rain again. We've been getting it on and off here as well. It was very, very heavy overnight. But it's not raining now, but there's a big, dirty cloud over there, and it's waiting to open up. <laughs> oh, goodness. Bobbington says cakes baked goods are too good to share. No, no, I like to share them. I just forget. I regularly forget. And I have so many people, I'm like, yeah, I'll drop those over to you, and it'll get to Sunday, and then it'll get to Monday, and I'll be like, oh, they're not really fresh enough now, and I feel bad because I forgot. <laughs> and that's kind of how it works. Nebulous has got some really satisfying rain here right now. It was so nice to get like the first few bits of heavy rain for the first time after so much sunlight. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I did enjoy the summer, but it was just, it was for too long, you know? It needed to be broken up a little bit. <gasps> Ingrid screaming, hello, how are we the hell are almost a quarter of us over the beans? I don't know. Maybe there's some people who just don't understand. Maybe they'll have to be taught. Taught the ways. The ways! No way! Like, lads, are we okay? I think you'll be safe. Lads, you have, you have time to cast your vote. You have time- Oh, I never put a- Hang on. This just came out of the dishwasher, so it's not dirty, I promise. Coffee cat, hello! How are you doing? Oh! Dun, 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 dun. Pop. Boiny, boing. Ooh, what was- Oh. It's bounced back out at me. And Guelphal Queen Jenny, hello! Where are the beans for a much desire to speak with them? Tell me where are the beans, for I much desire to speak with them. Pan, <laughs> everyone is over the beans. Poncho, how are you doing? I, I think, you know what? I think we're, I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna see the beans again. I think we're gonna see them again. Some sunny day. I don't know why I hit that so hard. <laughs> it's just going that way, you know? Oh, I picked up Twitch is getting Subway. Oh, would you get... Actually, I don't even... What does Subway serve? And if you say sub sandwiches, I will... I will, I will fight. <laughs> like, what... Anyone who goes to Subway, what is your order when you go to Subway? What is it you get? Because I haven't gotten anything from Subway in... Oh, I'd say, like, it must be about 10 years. It could be longer. Actually, maybe, like, 8 years at a push? Macadamia cookies, literally so- I know it's sub sandwiches, but what do you put in the sub sandwiches? What do you put in there? My boyfriend back- oh, oh no. Okay, veggie patty with sriracha sauce and the vegan meatballs. I've heard the vegan meatballs are pretty decent, actually. I think the only thing I have a vivid memory of eating in Subway is the meatball marinara, and that's- that's all that's in my brain. Tiny Toxic Tofu, hello, how are you doing? Niall says, did you hear that Subway's bread is closer to cake than bread? Yeah, it was great- it was- it was a big shock to me, as you can imagine, but... Oh, that's mad, like seriously. Hearty Italian with chicken tikka, cheese, pepperoni, and ketchup. You know what? I'd, I'd, I'd go for that. I'd go for that. I get chicken with bacon, with a bunch of vegetables, and tons of cheese. Subway in Spain was weird, it was sickening sweet. That was the first place I ever tried Subway, actually. Funny you should mention it. The very first time I had Subway was in Barcelona. And we went to Subway not because we wanted to, but because we did we like we couldn't find anywhere that we recognized. And we were all we were all like twelve. So we're looking around, like trying to find like a McDonald's or a Burger King or anything like that. And we'd found a subway. We're like, right, we'll go in here and we'll get something. And I genuinely think that they might have just picked something for us at the menu because they pitied us because we couldn't speak any Spanish and they didn't have great English. So we we met kind of in the middle and we got our food anyway. It was it was good, like it was fine. Now that said. I had an unholy appetite, so I probably would have ate anything you put in front of me. You know when you're 12 and you're ravenously hungry and you'd be mocking all day, you would honestly eat the legs off the table, like, without salt. No questions asked. I want some chocolate, though. We have... That's, do you want a little milkini? Here, quick, quick, quick. Here, do you want a little milkini? Quick, quick, take a little milkini. We all know Milka is one of the better chocolates. Quick, take it. I think there's only... <gasps> there's only one left. Okay, we're gonna have to split it. Quick, take a bit. Break off a little bit. There you go. There you go. The people have voted to have the beans back as well, so I present to you. Actually, you know what? No, I can't put it there. It'll block Dave. There you go. And I can leave it right there where you can see it in underneath the chat as well. Now, is that a deal or is that a deal? And when I used to work at one, says Hartwang, my two most memorable customers were a man who would have meatball sub buried in olives and someone who always insisted we soak the bread with vinegar for a ham sandwich. Just 
Don't know how I feel about that one. Inquiry and Screaming says, Milka versus Cadbury's and why? Milka over Cadbury's any day. And I'll tell you my reasoning. Old Cadbury's, it would be much closer, but they changed the recipe for Cadbury's chocolate. Oh God, it must be about 15, sorry, I shouldn't suck my teeth like that. 15 years ago or so, they changed the recipe for just the, the straightforward dairy milk chocolate. And it's never been the same since. It's never been the same. Milka is like a little bit creamier. I find that dairy milk is almost like a bit too dry, if that makes sense. Like I know obviously when you're eating chocolate, like it melts, but it, I, I don't know how to explain it other than it tastes dry. Now that said, if you put a mint crisp in front of me, listen, I, I would polish it off in two minutes, but that's not the, that's not the point. Um, that one, yes, that was when Kraft took over Cadbury. It completely changed the flavor. Like it was, I say completely, it was close enough that like a lot of people didn't really mind too much, but it was like, you noticed. And they made the bars thinner as well. I remember like a, a chunk of dairy milk was like this tall in a bar and they made the whole thing flatter and they made it worse. Um, Paycat says, when there's large chat messages like this one, the chat covers the beans, can you please move the beans a little bit so the beans don't get covered by lots of text? Like this. <laughs> Actually, do you know what we can do? Hang on. We can put him, we can move Dave. Ah, look at this now, we're coming to a compromise. <gasps> Jacob Evans, thank you for 13 months. 13 of them. That's a long, old time. How are you doing? Lovely to see you. And Fever Dream says, good news, I got into university. Yes. Let's go, Fever Dream. I'm so excited for, what's that noise? I'm so excited for everyone getting into university. Yes. Yes, yes, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm actually going to eat some chocolate now because I, it's not raining yet. It's about to rain, but it's not raining yet. I think this works. Wait, it's not. There we go. Can I have a singular bean on the table? No, because then I have to, have to open the pack. One Milka. What's everybody's favorite chocolate brand out of interest? Because, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Milka isn't my very favorite. I really like Lint. I like Butler's chocolate as well. Butler's is really nice. And oh my goodness, what's it called? There's, Mm. What's it called? I think it's like Skellig chocolate. You, I, I've never seen it in like bars in the shop. They always do it in like little, little fancy boxes, but it's it's good. It's good. I'm hit and miss on Lily O'Brien's chocolate. Like sometimes it's nice and sometimes it's too, it's actually too, too sweet, you know? But yeah, Lint is really nice. Um, favorite chocolate bar? Oh, Malte Maltese was pretty, pretty good. Tragic Pasta, hello, how are you doing? And um, Lisa said, here it had Choco, Choco Rooms. I don't think I've heard of them. I'd be open to trying them sometime though. Arthur Ritz, hello, good. Oh, Belgian chocolate, I know the one actually. I, I I think I've had it. Is that the one that you get in like, it has the little seashell shapes? I might be thinking of something else. Sorry if I'm mixing this up with something else. Sorry, I need to sniffle very quickly. All I do is talk rubbish and be sniffly, I'm sorry. <laughs> Pitch and curtains, little M and M's, all crispy or otherwise. We gotta know. Beard game reviews says I often change my mind usually because I eat too much of one brand. But recurring favorites are Cadbury's Galaxy and Terry's Chocolate Orange. Mm. It's going to be Terry's Chocolate Orange season before we know it. it it's going to be here so fast. Terry's Chocolate Orange season. As soon as November first hits, it is Terry's Chocolate Orange season. As far as I'm concerned. Oh goodness. Enemy Quill Lovero, hello, he is a good shark and you can give him a hug for free, exclamation mark, hug shark. Do it, free, easy. <laughs> it's not Terry's, it's Cakes. Oh my goodness, who was it was in the, was it, was it Dawn French was in the ads? It's not Terry's, it's mine. <laughs> oh dear. What did I tell you about that goose? What did I tell you about that goose? <laughs> you and thank you for the bits, I thank you very much. Caroline, hello, yes, please send all the Terry's orange just my way. I just. Who here has never had a Terry's chocolate orange? Hands in the air. Hands in the air. I gotta know. I'm not going to point and laugh at you. I'm just going to recommend that you try them at some stage. Oh, Lando, hello. Oh, that's a fair, that's a few of you already. That's a few people. I would recommend that if you ever get the chance, please try a Terry's chocolate orange. If you like orange flavor and you like chocolate, you will like Terry's chocolate orange. <laughs> it's, it's that simple. Now, there's a chance you won't. Sometimes you can like two flavors separately and not like them together, but it is the nicest orange chocolate I think I've probably ever had. I think I've probably maybe, maybe ever. 
Father, hello, my grandma buys me one every Christmas. Yes, as tradition. That and like maybe some cheeky after eight. Now, if if you ask me, you can get good off-brand after eight. They're not, they're not from Nestle and they're pretty good. And I would recommend those, you know, just, just keep, just keep the old uh, tradition going. Um, it is, hello, I'm here from Brian's channel. I think we're about to have a really awkward moment where I know someone by their username and not their name name. That was Brian. Hello, anyway, welcome in. How are you doing? I only eat after eight since 801. 801. Personally, I'm not a fan of any chocolate orange, but I do like them individually. Oh, see, that, that can happen sometimes. Like some people like mint and chocolate, but don't like them together. And some sick people do not like mint chocolate ice cream, and I don't know what to do with you lads. I don't know what to say about that. Mm -mm. You know? Some people don't like orange, orange chocolate, some people don't like mint chocolate ice cream. It's hard being wrong, but you know what? <laughs> mint chocolate ice cream is so good. I think it's probably my favorite. And I think it's because I find that ice cream t is like very, very heavy when I eat it. Like, I, I do, like, it makes my throat feel kind of like phlegmy and stuff. I'm not allergic, like, it's not, like, it doesn't make me sick or anything, thank goodness. But if I eat mint chocolate, it kind of takes a little bit of that away. It makes it, like, a little lighter, if that makes sense. Not if that makes any sense, you know? After I ate a post dinner treats, it's because you have them after you ate. Well, probably, <laughs> that's probably where they got the name. Oh, holy moly. Um, Mage Mokolo, well, I know someone who doesn't like hazelnut or any chocolate that is in, which is so many. Oh, that's a lot. I thought I didn't like hazelnut flavor in chocolate, and then I had Nutella, and then my life changed. And Nutella is very good, very nice. You must all agree that wafers and ice cream are nice. Oh yeah, wafer. Like, do you ever do the thing where you have like, you know, you know the long things of just like vanilla ice cream, just nice and simple, just good, simple, straightforward, and you get one little wafer, and you put it there, right on the end of the ice cream, and you cut your slice, and you put the other wafer in there, and you have your ice cream sandwich. Done. Easy. Simple. Low effort, high reward, done. It's the simple things, you know? Simple things. Um, Dekimo Akuma, hello! I love mint ice cream, my favorite flavor is rum raisin. The only, the only reason I know that rum raisin exists is because of an anime that I watched a couple of years ago. I said a couple, of, uh, within the last decade. <laughs> That's the only reason that I know that rum raisin, is it haagen make it? But I've never actually tried it and I, I really want to because I like raisin and I like rum, so you know, you know. Baker, hello, how are you doing? Jana, hello. Are you well? Are you well? Are you well? Um, Ines says, I'm on dead. Oh no, you're grand, you're grand. I saw the Mario Kart tournament and loved your vibes. Oh, welcome in. I'm glad you like, that was so much fun. That was great crack. I, that was really, really good time. I. The lads are, they're, they're wired to the moon and you know what, I'm glad of it too. <laughs> and Degmi says, Lincoln, where I study for uni, has ice cream bar, an ice cream bar, bar. oh my goodness. I don't know, can, I don't know if I've ever seen rum raisin for sale. I'm gonna need rum raisin at some point. I need to try it. Sorry, I'm talking and eating chocolate, which I realize is a little rude, but it's gotta be it somehow, you know? It's gotta be, it's gotta be it. It's gotta be it. Um, Janice and Good got the new Lego Lighthouse. Ooh! Yes. Can we get a little picture when it's done? If you want, of course. No pressure. No pressure. Peter Twitch says, My dad bought me ice cream last night. Not related to the news, but I choose to believe it was. And it turns out he got me haagen -Dazs. I was like, we're common folk. What's this bougie stuff? haagen -Dazs. Listen. I know people are, I know there's going to be a mass exodus. People are not going to be happy with me about this. This is maybe one of the more controversial things I've ever said. On average... On average, haagen is nicer than Ben & Jerry's. And I like Ben & Jerry's, I do, I, I do, but, but, I can, it, it's, it, it's, you know, <laughs> they're both really good, but I find haagen much easier to eat than Ben & Jerry's. Like Ben & Jerry's is too, it's too sweet for me. How <laughs> oh, dare you? <laughs> I like that part, that's very good. And um, Blushy Bill Slime, hello, they are brands we have. What kind of ice cream do you have? Wherever you are, wherever you may be. But yeah, it, it's, I don't know, I just find it much easier to eat. Like, I, I'm not the kind of person who would usually get a tub of ice cream in the shop, but if McDara picks up a thing of... Strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake, Hagen does. Listen, you have to trust me, it is amazing. It's so good. 
It's so, so good. Um, Tiny Toxic Tofu says the, <clears throat> excuse me, the density of ice cream is more in Ben & Jerry's, you got more ice cream per spoonful. Like, it, it's still pretty good. It's different, you know, it's a different experience altogether. Debsy, hello. Yeah, they're two different vibes of ice cream, but I, I don't know. There's something with the haagen that doesn't make me feel as like, ah. <laughs> Pickett says, I did a tour of a chocolate factory once and I got to try chocolate coated hazelnuts that were made only a couple of days earlier. That's so cool, oh my goodness. That's very, very cool. There's a, I don't know if they still do it, but I know a good few years ago, a couple of friends of mine, Shark, don't do that. Um, did a butler's chocolate factory tour and you could decorate your own little like chocolate I'm so sorry I have to cough again you could decorate your own little like chocolate bear and everything and I, I've always meant to check it out and see if it'd be a good one to do but I haven't gotten around to it yet Bobbington I saw that damn it <laughs> Zero Mash Bones is the best ice cream I ever had was in Romania Moritz Ace or is it ice? Moritz Ice. It's an ice cream shop and I had creme brulee and chocolate cheesecake ice cream. Oh, that sounds so good. That sounds so good. Oh, there is an ice cream brand I almost forgot. Lando says Ben & Jerry's flavors are like post rain asphalt or freshly painted lawn chair. <coughs> yeah, you're not wrong. I think actually one of the best ice creams I've had. Are we all familiar with Murphy's ice cream? They're based in Dingle. They do a brown bread ice cream. And listen, you have to trust me. Brown bread ice cream. I know it probably doesn't sound like much, but that brown bread ice cream is like... It's, mm, it's so good. I don't know how I forgot about it. Am I after smudging my lipstick all over my face? Ah, I'm fine. I'll be grand. In where Dingle? On Dangan. Dingle. There's a place near Shmeese's heart fan called the Purple Cow that does its own ice cream that spoiled me. Favorite flavor from them is still mango habanero. I would like to try that because it sounds... I'm always intrigued by flavors that sound like they really should not be good because usually they're very good, you know? They're the kind of things you wouldn't think to put together and you're like, wait a second, hang on. No, hang on now. <laughs> Marie says the best ice cream I had was at the Harry Potter Tour, butter, butter beer ice cream. I didn't like the butter beer when I went there, but the ice cream could be different, you know? A, a different vehicle for the flavor could change things entirely, unless they change the recipe, but... Could be interesting. You never know. Contrafintry, hello! Hope you're all well on break right now so I can join for a bit. Hello, Contrafintry, how are you doing? Are you well? Um, Kate, do I buy the Murphy's ice cream recipe book? Do it, life is short. Do it, get the recipe book. Does it tell you how to make the ice cream from scratch, or is it just like how to... I, I don't know. I, I actually don't know where I was going with the rest of that sentence. Um, have you ever seen chocolate mochi ice cream? I have, I really want, to... I don't know if it's still in here. We got some mochi ice cream, but the only stuff that could be found was coconut flavor. It had like some sort of coconut in it. And <clears throat> I think it was mango and it was, it had like coconut base in it or something. And it was mochi as well. All I could taste was the coconut. I'm, I'm not sensitive to coconut as in like, you know, I'm not like allergic, but I can taste the flavor of coconut through anything it's like coffee like i can taste t coffee through anything but i know that some people really like coconut ice cream and if you're expecting it then that's great you know <clears throat> i'm so sorry i'm coughing so much and um, zargon says we can get all kinds of flavors here we can get some in next time you're here mm. see i feel like we can't get it here but <laughs> there was a there was a rush on mochi ice cream because a lot of people were posting about it on tiktok and people just went mental for it like they cleared out every place that carried it in Dublin, so we couldn't get a hold of it for a while. Shadow Dragon, hello, there's a Cold Stone Creamery near me and they have an anim Animal Crossing ice cream, this chocolate ice cream with strawberries, bananas and whipped cream. I would try that. I would try that. Julian, hello, welcome in, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Anime Yume says, we only got it on trips, but lucky me, we got to have some last week. Their new flavor was your turning violet violet and it's cardamom blueberry lemon scone flavor on fresh sugar cookies. Ooh, ooh, that, that sounds kind of cool, actually. Pickett says, you try the, I didn't try the coconut chocolate. I've been afraid to open it because it's a big slab, but I'm waiting until I'm in the humor because I do want to try it. I've been rationing the, I've been rationing the, the crimpies. Was it crimpies? Is that what they're called? <coughs> yeah, the shapes. I've been rationing the shapes. I still have some of them. The coconut buy is here. The Tim Tams are long gone. 
<gasps> two shoes, hello! Can we get another shout out for two shoes? How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. <clears throat> We're talking about ice cream. What is your favorite ice cream? Tell me. What is your favorite cream of the ice variety? Oh, that's so much better. There's so many shapes and it's not covered in work. They're, they're so good. They're so, they're so good and I... I don't know if there's anything quite like that here. Like the closest I can think of is like tuck biscuits, but they're they're not the same. Like you don't have the same flavors, but they, they give us they scratch a similar itch, you know, even though they're very different. <clears throat> Two shoes says Magnums, almond magnums. Oh, I, I completely forgot Magnums existed. I've not had one of those in years. Years and years and years. I have to I have to have Magnum sometime. Or a Cornetto. I haven't had a Cornetto in so long. Um Chris Lyons says pistachio. I Pistachio is a weird flavor for me because if I'm in the right humor, I adore pistachio. But if I'm slightly not in the humor to have pistachio, it is the worst thing I've ever tasted. And I, I have a couple of flavors I'm like that with, but like, it's it's like if I have a load of pistachios, I will sit here and eat them like like a little like a little gerbil. I'll be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I will hit a point where I suddenly cannot stand the flavor of pistachios. I hate these. I don't know why. Oh, Rigolatina, hello, Hagendas or Talenti Hagendas, yes. I we don't have Talenti here, but Hagendas. Yes. <laughs> oh seven for cakes, Tim Tams. They're they're so they're so good. They're they are just like penguin bars, but better in every way. Better in every way. Carnetas taste like childhood to me. Oh yeah. And um, Thomas says after Saturday. Oh hello, first of all, Tomo. After Saturday yesterday, I'm ready for the good vibes. Over we are discussing ice cream again. I don't remember. We were talking about chocolate and then we started talking about ice cream. That was it. I don't remember how we got from one to the other, but we got there and that's what's important. Two shoes! Thank you for gifting five subs to Holy Corn, Samba Lamb, Vocal Syndrome. It's really Sandra and Surfer Egg. Can we get some good eggs? Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Ah, what'll I do with you? What'll I do with all of you? I'll offer you a sip of tea, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. I'll offer you a big sip of tea. Sorry, there, there might be a bit of my lipstick on there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You're three good. <laughs> Time behavior, behave yourself. <laughs> ah, you're too good. You're three good. And Rowan, hello, new laptop, yes! Oh, I'm so excited for you. New laptop, new laptop, new laptop buddies. Um, actually, I, I forgot to ask you earlier, but I, I actually don't, I, I think I'm at peace with TTS man being down a well on this laptop. It's like an extra treat for TTS man to be down the well on a Friday. It's well for him, isn't it? Um, Zerkla, hello, just bought a stamp. My life is so exciting. Get up! Woo! Hey, look, you could be doing worse things with your day. You could be doing much worse things with your day. Contraventory says, I have that with lots of food. Happened more than once. I was eating something in his mood for in the middle of eating it. I was like, no, tastes horrible. I, I get that with scrambled eggs sometimes. And I really like eggs. Like, <laughs> for a lot of my life, like, I, I would eat more eggs than any other protein. Like, I'd, I'd nearly be vegetarian on egg, because of eggs. Because they were cheap. And tasty. But every so often, I'd make the scrambled eggs just slightly wrong, and I'd just like, I hate eggs for like a week. And then I would go back to them, I'd be fine, but. <laughs> oh dear, it do be like that sometimes. Um, today's Friday between CCS, I get to speak through a well. Exactly, it's his favorite, it's his favorite activity. <laughs> he gets to be in the well. What's that skip? CCS man's falling down the well. <laughs> help, help. Help, it's Brian. I'm stuck down a well. Or am I in the basement? You'll never know. Thank you for the bits, Jedi. We'll never know. I mean, we might someday. We might. Come here to me. We're going to be starting in a couple of minutes. Baking. Making things. We are making apple crumble tartlets. We're making like apple crumble, but they're going to be little apple crumbles. Like teeny, teeny little, little, not quite bite size, like three bite size apple crumbles, depending on how big your mouth is. Exclamation mark recipe if you'd like to see the recipe for today. If you happen to have cooking apples, butter, oats, and flour in the house, then you can probably make this along with this much notice. <laughs> Agent British, hello! Um, apple crumble tartlets, you're making me so jealous I haven't had lunch yet. Oh, I haven't had apple baked in something in so long, so I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You, you get yourself a little apple tart or an apple pie later on. Or someday soon. Someday soon. 
Dave sized, exactly. Are cooking apples different from normal apples? What's the source? Do you know? So cooking apples, they're bigger. They're they're like they're big gnarly looking apples. They got they're they're a little like they got a different flavor. They got a very different flavor to like eating apples. Attention, Attention shoppers, shoppers, please, please stop, stop using the trolleys, trolleys to joust in the dairy aisle. aisle. I, I swear, swear to G, I am going to come down there. See, the fun thing is, he's not echoed for me, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to watch this back to see just how echoed he is. But it's fun! <laughs> Thank you for the bit, Sargon. Um, my mom always told me not to eat those, and I don't know why. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they're poison or anything. They're just not, I think they're just a little, like, bitter. They're, they're a little sharp, not bitter. They're a bit sharp. Like, do you ever eat a crab apple? No, they're nothing like crab apples, but, like, it's a similar kind of thing. They're just, you wouldn't eat them the way they are, you know? Don't joust in the dairy aisle, they do it in the bean aisle, no! Come down here then, old man, you won't. Oh, God. That's it. It's all starting in the dairy aisle today, lads. How dairy. Oh. Um, they can make it through a little milk of sour. 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 Why can't I think of the word sour? I was like, I, I'm getting there. I'm going around in circles. Sour is the word. Was they are sour until you cook them and then they got a nice flavor. They, they mellow out, you know? They're not as sweet, but usually it doesn't matter. Because exactly, you add sugar and it makes them all nice and nice and good and nice and other words adjacent to nice. Good. <laughs> you know, it is a wonder we don't have a beans emote. Might have to get around to that if we get the chance. I feel like I did something. Oh yes! Else to say, a little reminder, I'm going to be on stream again over on twitch.tv slash gaming panels. What's up Madison Square Garden? Brian and the boys are so happy to be back for the farewell <laughs> tour. Let's open this place up. Oh! <laughs> Two shoes for the pants. Oh my god. Oh, I'm losing my mind. I'll be on there this evening on a panel hosted by Donut Tart, so I hope you make it along. It'll be food and drink oriented, 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 focused. Focus! I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you can make it long. I will ping you over in Discord as well so you don't miss out. So that'll be 7 p.m. this evening. That's about six hours from now. Give or take a few minutes. Yes, I will link it in Discord. Oh, holy moly. I'm on Discord with the beans and motion and blow high pops out of it. That's good. That's what we deserve. Is that the or slash blow high one out of interest? And um, Kat Lake says, Branston beans better than Heinz beans, come at me. I, I would love to, but I've actually never tried Branston beans. I think the only place I've ever seen Branston beans for sale in Ireland is Iceland. Iceland tend to get a lot of like UK only brands in. Like you get, you get your PG tips and Tetley tea in there. Whereas like you might get them in the big, big supermarkets, like in its big, big Tesco or something like that. But you know, not, not so much, not so much. Zelogi, hello, how are you doing? Cake, I have the Murphy's ice cream book on the way and I have no ice cream maker. Time to get an ice cream maker again, I guess. Um, my mom swears by Branston beans. She would have gotten them when she was living in London, but I, I don't, I feel like maybe I've tried them. I just don't remember. I thought you were talking about Iceland, the country. No, no, no. Would like to go to Iceland sometime. The country, not the shop. Playing Puffin, hello. How are you doing? And we're having a good one. And I hope you're having a good one too. And Sweet Peeps, hello. Um, Luca says, I've never laid someone struggling to find words as much as this. It happens every so often. Like, I can, I can talk for three hours non-stop and all of a sudden I'll just hit a brick wall and I'll forget how words work. Can you believe I used to do public speaking? I feel like anyone who did public speaking now has a hard time finding the right words when they're talking. <laughs> you start to overthink it a little bit, you know? <laughs> what are words? All right, I've got 10 minutes until we start, because I need to finish this cup of tea, I need to stretch my back a little more, I need to finish, I say finish the mess, I'm already getting started really, I know what it's like, and then we'll get some fresh music, and then we're gonna go. Don't hit a wall, <laughs> no, don't hit a wall, ha <laughs> ha you're so good at talking. <laughs> I hate the lay, I knew the meme instantly. Angel British says my favorite breakfast is basically toast with spreadable cheese on it with Branson sausage and beans, honestly, Simple, beautiful, how bad? 
Did anybody else used to get the 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 Heinz beans and sausages in the tin when they were younger? I mean, not not yourself, not with your pocket money, but I remember we used to get it at home, and I don't know, not all the time, but you know, as a little treat now and then. It was exciting to get the the beans and sausages thing. <laughs> World's Pariah, hello. It can't be cake appreciation day every day. It has to be you appreciation. And you. And you. And I know it's rude to point, but I'm pointing for a good cause. All of you in the back. And you too. All of you. Appreciate you. Oh, Johansson says, on lurking, we're talking breakfast post mine early on. Oh, just good. Oh, I didn't see. I'll have to go. I'll have to start seeing people's breakfast. The, mod the mods have to be appreciated as well. It's true. It's true. It's true. It can be, and it is. Yeah. Eight, 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 eight. I think the spaghetti with sausage in a tin. I feel like I've seen that. And they they used to do, oh my goodness. I remember they used to do little Barney the Dinosaur um, spaghetti shapes. I think then there were Barbie shapes as well. I always wanted, like depending on the day, I always wanted the Barbie one or the Barney one. You know, I, was, I wasn't too picky. I was happy with either. But I remember then there were Bob the Builder ones. There might have been Peppa Pig ones. And I, there's probably more recent again ones. Maybe I don't know. I suppose Peppa Pig is still very relevant for the kids, but... I don't know what spaghetti shapes they do these days, but I'm sure they're grand. I remember those. I, I don't even remember eating them. I just remember the excitement of getting them and alphabeti. I'm pretty sure you can still get alphabeti. I just never think you're looking for it, you know? Um, Ingrid Greaming says, I reset my phone last night and lost my two-factor keys. Can we get some good luck for Ingrid and Screaming? I'm so sorry. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck out there. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's the nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Ooh. Um, I've alphabetic recently for kicks. I'm so incredibly kid lottery jackpot. <laughs> it's like getting mozzarella sticks as a kid. You're just like. When I was a young boy, my father. I'm watching you. <laughs> hey, Ken, thank you for the bits. I'm watching you. <laughs> Left. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Pick up, thank you for the bits. DDT, hello, how are you doing? Woo. We are cooking today, Jet Thunderstorm. We are. I'm gonna stand up. I gotta start getting myself moving and grooving. We are going to be making little apple crumbles, like little teeny tiny apple crumbles. I actually have the tin here as well. And I i have half a mind to line these with like a little circle of paper. And I think I might do it. It's a little bit extra work, but I think it'll be worth it because it means things are less likely to stick to the bottom of this because this thing is old. They're going to be about the, uh, about the size of that. And I'm going to try to make sure that they don't fall apart. So we get our apples here. It says two large apples, so I'll, I'll cut up I'll, two. I'll have them ready to go. And we'll see after that. I'm actually, I need to open up. <laughs> I need to open up the recipe. Dr. Opt Optimal, hello. Kind of like cupcake apple crumbles. Like more or less like cupcake sized ones. So, you know, little bite sized ones. All right, I am going to bring up the recipe so that I can, oh, I, you know what? If I, if I press the right thing, we'd be doing great all together. You know, if I was typing in the right place. Here we go. That is the recipe. All reliable Odlum's website. Here we go. I love... I love when they put the ingredients and the method side by side so I can see them up without scrolling around. All right. So we want to peel, core, roughly chop the apples, place in a saucepan with sugar and a little water over low heat, stir in case it is softened. Then place the flour in a mixing bowl, coarse, coarsely rub in the butter, add sufficient water. Excuse me. And mix to a soft dough, turn onto a lightly floured board and gently knead. Roll out pastry on floured board, cut it to 24 discs and place in the prepared tin. So we're going to be doing two batches, I hope. Two batches is the plan. That's the plan. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Put the flour into a bowl, add in butter and rub in flour with your fingers until mixture is done with breadcrumbs. Add in sugar and oats mixed together. Spoonfuls of stewed apple into the pastry bases and top with crumb mixture. 18 to 20 minutes for each batch until golden warm. Serve warm with custard, scoop of ice cream, or you can just, you can just have them once they cool down as well. They'll still be very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Shadow Dragon says, Cake, were you able to get those cake pan strips from Amazon? I actually completely forgot about once they cancelled the last order. I need to get on that because it would... It, it won't make a difference to something like this, but for big cakes, like, it would make a big, big difference. I need to get on that. 
It's in my brain. Like every so often I remember it and I'm like, forgotten it. <laughs> I need to get on that. Now, I have forgotten another thing. Do you know what I have forgotten? I have forgotten to get something to tie my hair up with. Cake, I can't take in the recipe that fast. Write it down! <laughs> I need to get something to tie my hair up with because I forgot that. Oi, oi. Ooh, we're going behind the camera. Ooh, I really hope there's something in here. There's a grand total of absolutely nothing. All right, I need to tie my hair up. I need something. I can't, I can't live this way. Because if I can't find like a little, a little hair elastic, I'm gonna have to use one of those things that like keep my hair back when I'm doing my, when I'm taking my makeup off and that means I'll have like little ears and listen, I'm watching me, okay? <laughs> Who's that? <gasps> Insane, hello, how are you doing? Bear with me just a minute. I need to find something to tie my hair up with, all right? Oh, the holy mess of in here now, that's what I'm after doing. Why did I make my life so difficult? Why? Why? Oh, I found one. Nice. That was easy. Never mind. Everything's fine. <laughs> no panic. No strain. It's all good. I have it here. I have it here. <laughs> oh, ready. All right. I'm gonna tie the hair up. We got the tunes going. We're moving and we're grooving. And no matter what I do, the side of my hair is gonna look very thin. But that's just the way of it, you know. Oh, you're making pizza. What kind of pizza are you making in scenic? Tell us all about it. Tell us, tell us, tell us. Acha. Um, in Australia, dental work isn't covered by Medicare. This implies the government doesn't believe the teeth are real. Th but they're not. She's gone. Time for pure anarchy. Tom, I'm watching you. What are you going to do if you go in if you've pure anarchy? Hmm? What are you going to do with it? That's too much power. It's too much power for you. <laughs> Redna, hello. How are you doing? Are you well? Are you very very well? Pasta bake. What's in your pasta bake? Is it? Is it got little extra bits? Has it got pasta? Has it got bake? Hmm? Have you got all your bits and bobs in that pasta bake? I actually used to make pasta bakes all the time and I just kind of forgot, which I know probably sounds very silly, but you know when you have a go-to recipe for a while and then you just kind of forget it exists for a few years. <laughs> Even if it was like easy to put together, like I used to make kind of makeshift bean soup chili things all the time because they were cheap and easy and I just don't do it anymore and I don't know why. Jacob, we bring like, an Prince. important announcement. The Queen's death was a prank orchestrated by the Queen herself. She said, and I quote, You really thought I was dead. I am immortal and I shall outlive this universe. Now get back to work peasants. Also, comb your hair, Boris. I'm telling Diana. I'm telling Diana. <laughs> Look, if that second health bar comes up, we're doomed. We're doomed. Oh, shit. That <laughs> second stage boss fight. <laughs> oh, dear. It's okay. I'm really good at Bloodborne. Ah! Oh, dear. What will I do with you, lads? All right. Hands are clean. Cleaned hands. The boss music started off. It's like, do, 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 do. Skyro, hello. It is very nice to make. We're going to make teeny tiny little ones, which is even better because you can share them and eat them and have several of them. Very good when you want apple crumble, but you want 24 of them. Hotama, hello. Hello, how are you doing? So something I want to try doing first is... I want to see if I can line these, because this is an old tin, and I should have thought this beforehand, but look. Anyway. I forget things. All the time. All the time. Non-stop. It's what I do. I forget about things. So I'm going to see if I can just, like, cut out a load of little circles to put in, just to make life less... Le <sighs> Miserable when it comes to taking them out again so they don't disintegrate instantly because that happened to me making mince pies a couple of times where I did everything right, wasn't supposed to line the tin and just went, you know, you know. Actually, wait, I've, ha I've had an idea. Now it might give them a bit of a strange like, you know, pattern on the outside. However, do I have, oh, 
Is there any law against making them in cupcake cases? There's probably not. Like, I, I don't think I'll be arrested for this. We don't have to leave them in there, just to make sure they don't stick, because we can peel them off after, and it'll be grand. I'm just trying to think, will they do fine with the... the heat? I think they'll be fine. I think they'll be fine. It's not illegal. Nobody's made it illegal yet. 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 I think that would work fine. Like, they, they could stay in here, you know? Keiko plays are using its Let's Get Funky Nintendo music. It's, it's grooving and moving. Right, so we have... I just need to see how many of these I have. We do have a couple of graphs and half without if you want to test. I, I'm tempted to do it that way, but I'm like, do I want to make my life more difficult than it needs to be? If you leave them in the store easier, that's a good point, actually. And especially since I'm bringing them with me the weekend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight of those. Walker Pierce, it's lovely to see you. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Are you well? Are you very, very well? Um, and broken loads, this is my first stream. What's an apple crumble? Never seen or had one. Oh, come here till I tell you. So you get your apple. You crumble it up. No, not really. You get apple, you stew it a little bit with some sugar. And generally you would have like a big pie tin. You might put down like your, your bottom layer of pastry. And the crumble is actually the bit you put on top. So you have a mix. It's generally like butter, flour, oats, and sugar. So you get like a really nice flavor. You get a good like sweetness through it. It's great. Lovely stuff. You'll see it anyway once it's made up, but even if you Google apple crumble, you should get an idea better what it is. So we're making little tiny ones, little little portable ones. I'm using pocket size, but please, I beg you, don't put that in your pocket. It's not going to be good. You're going to be dealing with that for a long time. How many did I say were in there? That doesn't matter. I think we have enough. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. And Alexander J, hello, it feels well to have gotten off my night shift at 5 a.m. and see the notification of cake. I'm always asleep for these streams and happy to see it. Even if I need to sleep, you make sure you get your sleep, all right? You make sure you get your sleep at some point. All right, so I'm going to just put these in here to have them laid out, you know? Walker Pierce says I'm well. New medicine dosage is a bit bleh, but overall good. Glad to see you're doing well. Oh, I hope it goes all right for you. I know the dosage changes and stuff like that can be an awful dose to deal with, as we'd say, I suppose. But I, I hope you're doing all right, and I hope you get through A-OK -okay for your good self. Sabermith, hello, how are you doing? There's a new, new emote on Twitch. What's your opinion on it? Is it the pineapple on pizza one? I thought that'd been there a while. I'm pineapple on pizza enjoyer, so I'm, I'm not here to fight about it. I don't mind if you if you don't like pineapple on pizza, it just means there's more pineapple on pizza for the rest of us. Like it's it's not even an issue. <laughs> right, that's there. It'll work or it won't. I think it'll probably be fine. It's gonna save me a bit of hassle later on. It means I don't have to mess around with all of this carry on, you know. So I need a bowl. Whoa. Oopsie. Uh, I need a bowl. I'm gonna get the little saucepan while I absolutely destroy the place. So I think the recipe says two should be enough. So we'll do two. And like, if we feel like we need more for the second batch, we can always do it again. Like we don't need, we don't need to strain about that too much. Do you know, it wasn't, it wouldn't take that long to do an extra batch of apple. This is clean, don't worry. All it has in it is a tea bag. So we're gonna use that for all the little bits and bobs, you know? Air horn sound, hello. Come in, come in, come in. Are you well? I'm gonna get me a little peely knife. A knife. I should get my, other knife for cutting things up as well, because we want to cut this up small before we... Why did I put them down like that? That's so silly. I'm gonna get a little chopping board as well. By little, I mean the same size chopping boards I always use. <laughs> oh my goodness. Rocky, look, no, I'm not driving today, thank goodness. Jeez, you wouldn't want to be doing this in the back of the truck, I'll tell you something, there'll be nothing left yet. <laughs> oh dear. Hotima says, I've made my I've made some minor changes to my Minecraft base on the server. Ooh, I must go check it out. I haven't... I was so excited to just, like, new mint Minecraft again once we updated the server. And I've barely had time. Like, I've been, um... I've been socializing a little bit. And I'm trying to get some socializing in before the weather gets very, very cold. But I I, I need to get back on and do some bits and bobs. Because I, I like messing around on the server. It's good fun. Actually, I'm going to do myself a favor now. I'm just going to take the ring off and put it on my necklace. Is your music part of a playlist or you choose random music every time? Um, it's a couple of Nintendo mixes. If you go onto YouTube, Shadow at Noon has some very good mixes and I would recommend. Great crack. Sir Rolf, hello. I'm glad to finally catch one of your streams after seeing your videos with Daniel. Ah, oh, welcome in. How are you doing? Come in, come in. I hope you are having a good Friday. 
that's off the, the cases. That's all right. That's all right. And um, Jessmere said, I'll leave your hair. Thank you. I've gotten so attached to my hair like this. Like, so, so, so attached. Oh, goodness. All right. Let's get this peeled. Peeled. Everyone sounds as excited to play Splatoon 3 later. Yes. I'm so, like, I'm just so excited for everyone because everyone is excited, if that makes sense. Socializing, Ew. yeah, I know. Like I'm, I, I realized that like I didn't really, I did do some social things over the summer. Now I know it probably seems like waste that I'm not eating this, but they're cooking apples, so it's fine. Uh, it, I just, I didn't get to do as many sociable things over the summer that I've really wanted to do. So I'm trying to get in all the the end of it before it gets too too cold to be like going out in walks and doing bits and bobs, you know, you know. Um, so Ross isn't doing dandy. Hope you're doing well too. Enjoy my Friday night. So ready for sleep and end this weekend. Yes, you're in the night time. We are in the afternoon, but I hope you're having a lovely evening for yourself. A good rest. A good rest. Potato peeler, peeler on apples. I'll do it. I'll do it. I actually I can't really use vegetable peelers. I know that probably sounds silly, but um, I I peel spuds like this. It's just you know you just you just learn. You just, not not everybody can. Like if you have. If you have a bit of a pain in your hand, or if you have like you know sore joints or arthritis or anything, you might have a hard time with this. But you just you just kind of you just go, you just pick up the apple and you go, you know. Listen, I know I have a hard time thinking my words sometimes, Calvin. But <laughs> Calvin, thank you for the bits. How are you doing? Come in, come in. I, ooh, I love my friends are excited for stuff like I don't play the same games as them but it makes my heart so full to hear them ramble exactly I love I love listening to people talk about things they're really interested in like I I, I do this with McDara all the time where he's like oh am I talking about like cars too much I'm like no I like I, I'm genuinely interested like keep talking like as long as it's not like 4 a.m. and I, I need to sleep like keep going I'm... what did I tell you about that goose what did I tell you about the goose? Thank you for the bits, anonymous spooky ghost. And Yoris, how are you doing? Hello, hello, and later, must we'll catch you later. We'll catch you soon, 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 soon. Humps has the goose, the goots, <laughs> the goots. All right, yeah. ooh, that'll do for now. I'll get all the little details in a few minutes. What happened to the goose in the truck? Um, so Athanasia was looking after the goose in the truck. And I believe it got a good name. What was it called? Hamu? Was it Hamu or Hanu? It was a good Finnish name anyway, so, you know. <gasps> good news from Yoris. Um, I'm off work for the next three weeks. Yes, let's go, Yoris. Get yourself a big rest. Oh my goodness. Have you anything planned or are you just going to take it easy the whole way through? Hanu, that was the one. Hanu, you're right too. I was given the goose when they left Hanu. All right, you keep Hanu safe. Poor Hanu. Probably very confused. Or maybe not confused at all. Maybe Hannah is behind all of this. You never, you never know. You never know. <laughs> Playing Splatoon when you're tired is a lot. I woke up to people like posting about the game, and I woke up very early this morning. I, I don't know why. I just couldn't get back to sleep. I woke up at like maybe half past five, and people were posting about like Splatoon. I was like, here, moving fast, lads. But you know what? You're right too. You're right too. What's the difference between vegetable peelers and the one you're using right now? Um, this one's a knife. This is just a knife. It's just a, a little curved knife. A vegetable peeler is like, it would be this way and you just kind of go tick, 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 like that, like that. And um, Christopher Lord Mega says, help, I'm being forced to go to the gym. Get yourself a good podcast. And you go. I'm gonna be honest, that was, that was very appropriate. I also would not like to be forced to go to the gym. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Um, are you cereal? Hello, how are you doing? Um, Saber Myth says I stay up to midnight to play Splat 3, as you should. As you should if you want to. And Space Panini, hello, much love from the Philippines, and hello to you. How are you doing? Anything with the gym? I actually quite enjoy the gym, but I I, I sometimes just go through whiles where I, I don't have the energy to go, and it's it's, it's kind of annoying, because I, I do enjoy it. Like, I like going in and just taking me time, doing me bits and bobs, putting on me headphones, you know, it's it's great fun. It's great fun. Deja says, do we have Forbidden Mode already and I missed it? Yes, we had, we had one. Very early on, like, uh, geez, I'd say about an hour at this point, almost. Very, very early on, like I'd say in the first 15 minutes anyway. Are those green apples? Yeah, I, I like green apples. And these are cooking apples, so they, I wouldn't be eating them, but I... Maybe this is weird, I don't think it's particularly weird, but... I don't know if I've ever had a nice red apple. Ever. 
ever, ever, ever. I don't know if I've ever had a nice red apple. They're always like mushy. They're always a bit wrong. I don't know how to explain it. Like there's always something weird about them, do you know? Now maybe it's just the particular kind we have here, but they're always like mushy or flavorless or watery or just, I don't know, I don't know. Sandy, yeah, that's kind of it. And I think they were, I don't exactly know what they're called, but I know it was because they had to be, they would be bred a certain way to last like long journeys and stuff, but they're, they're, I can't be dealing with them. They're just not for me, not for me. Not even Fuji apples. Yeah, I don't know if I've had a Fuji apple. I, I, we probably do have them here, but I've not tried them. But a good, crunchy, crisp green apple is a beautiful thing. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Red apples are too bland. You need the tartness and sourness of green apples to enjoy the apple flavor. That's it. You need the, you need the balance, you know? I'm just going to get this little bit off here. I'm going to cut this in a... I should probably actually... I'm going to get a bigger knife. Honey crisps are grand. I don't know if I'd have a honey crisp. Sorry, hang on. Just one second. I'm not being, I promise I'm not being rude. I just need to... Do, do, do something just come on my phone. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I promise I'm not being rude. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. Woo. Woo. Give me one second of your time. <laughs> Who's that? Calvin. I prefer oh, Kodak apples. apples. I, I don't, I don't even know, I, I don't think I know any of the varieties of apples that I've eaten. Like, I don't think I know any of them off the top of my head. I don't, I don't know. Cassia, thank you so much for 11 months. Everyone remember to drink water. Remember you're handsome, cute and valid and loved, even though it doesn't seem like it right now. It's true. I shouldn't point a knife at you, but it's true. I'm going to cut these apples a really terrible way, but you can judge me later, okay? You can judge me later when I can't see you. <laughs> there we go, nice and easy. It's a threat and a promise, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I'm struggling to think of any varieties I've had that buy apples based on vibe. Me too, like I, I tend to get the little, um, the fun size apple, because I find the other ones are just like, they're too big, as silly as, silly as that sounds. Like, do you ever be eating an apple? And you kind of, you get bored halfway through eating the apple. Anyone else get that? You literally just get bored of eating the apple. You're like, this is too much apple and it's not nice enough to keep eating. Because that definitely happens to me. Oh, the... Oh, these actually smell quite nice. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna do a little bit of detail work on this. There we go. Do you remember Dave's... IKEA product name? Vinter, I think. Vinter, if I remember correctly. Yoris, thank you for the bits. An apple a day keeps the doctors away. Steve Jobs. Hmm. 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 Thank you for the bits. And pixel tile, that's why I share mine with my friends. Honestly, not a bad idea. No waste. I'm just gonna pick out a few manky looking bits. This is definitely too big of a knife. I'm gonna use a smaller one. Uh -huh, there we go. That's the business. I don't want any weird bits, you know? Apple question for everyone. Do you eat the apple skin or peel it first? For me, it depends on the apple. If it's a good fresh apple, I will just, I'll just bite in skin and all. Like, who wants to see apple crumble, Bill Gates? Every day we suffer. You know, somebody called me Gen Z on TikTok. I wasn't insulted. I was. I was actually very, very. I was just a little confused. Not at all insulted. I was. It made me feel very young. It made me feel very youthful. <laughs> oh, thank you for the bits. All right, I'm gonna just uh, do these a little. Just a rough chop. You don't really have to cut them very evenly at all. You know. Wash the skin. Just go chop. Exactly. Just. Hum. That's it. Nice and simple. Mostly eat the skin, but first to slice them really thin for sensory purposes. Honestly, that is fair. And sometimes, very, 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 very seldom, but sometimes it is nice just like, you know, it, it's, you have the, the whole image of, you know, you're sitting back like against a tree. It's a lovely day. You got like a little knife 
and you're just like slicing little bits of the apple off and throwing them into your mouth. <laughs> like this. you got the whole thing together, you know? Thoughts, hello, apple skins generally accept to be eaten, but real ones eat kiwis with the skin on too. Kiwis with the skin on. Kiwis with the skin on. No, that's fine. No, no, really, that's... No, actually, no, I, I am mostly joking. I know some people eat kiwis with the skin on, but I've, I've never tried it myself. I have no notion of what it's like. Not a clue. Not a singular clue. Bananas with the... Don't. Don't, don't start with the bananas on the skin, carry on. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I'm watching. Oh, holy moly. All right, just do, 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 do. do them all slice up. Calvin, thank you for the bits. I eat lemons with the skin on. Listen. I mean, you can eat quite a lot of lemon skin. Like, you, you can eat the zest. You can just zest that to bits, you know? And no one's gonna stop you. No one's gonna stop. Absolute chad. Secret process go. I know some people, some people do peel their grapes. I always assumed it was a joke. Cause you know, if, if someone was acting like they had airs about them, it was like, oh, oh, and peel me a grape kind of thing, you know? But pineapple with the skin on, if you are brave, by all means, be my guest. <laughs> Oh dear, Sophie Moose, how are you doing? Come in, come in. All right, I think this is about as much as we want. You're supposed to peel peaches. Are you? What are those, um, you know the roundy... Listen, I'm gonna actually start over. The donut peaches, or Saturn peaches as they're called sometimes. I've never peeled those. I've never even thought to peel them, you know? I eat people with the skin on. Oh no, don't be doing that. Very bad for your digestive system. Very, very bad. Um, nectarines, plums. I haven't eaten plums in years. Years and years and years. It's been so, so long. I wonder if anyone eats the seed inside an avocado. If there is... I'm worried. I'm worried. If you're gonna peel grapes, you might as well just go out. You might, exactly. You might as well just go out and get the bottle of wine. And be done with it. Be done with it. All right. We need two to three tablespoons of sugar and a little bit of water. And that's it. We're gonna throw this all in here. Oh, Nixie sticks, you got a oh, chocolate. Oh, I did. I, hang on, sorry. For a couple of bits, they are cut up. I think I actually need a slightly bigger. That's okay. I'll get it in a minute. Also, I think we are supposed to have our front page slot now, but I don't think we're on the front page. I don't know if maybe everything's just a bit weird on my end, but we're here and that's what's important. Maybe something is a bit funky down the line. Who knows? Hitcha. Can't stop thinking of crunchy wine. Oh, I don't like that crunchy wine. Crunchy wine. Stay close to me. And peel the grape just to spite everyone here. And why would anyone do that? It's more, it's so much effort. And like the, the skin is nice. Cause you get a little like, it's like you get a little pop when you eat it. It's like, huh, you know, you get a little, you know? Maybe I got my times wrong. Hang on a second. Maybe maybe I did get my times wrong and I would feel like a fool. No, no, that's definitely the right. Okay, you know what? Maybe maybe there's just something going on. That's okay. It's no big deal. We're here and that's what's important. Hey, chat. Do you know bananas? Don't you start on the bananas technically a berry thing. Look, I'm not emotionally ready for that today. I'm not able for it. I, I'm, I'm not able for it. <laughs> Missed a bit. I did. Hup. Hup. Yeah, I made it. There's a bit on the floor as well I need to pick up in a second. All right, so. We need two to three tablespoons of sugar to sweeten and a little drop of water. And that's it. Okay, where's the sugar? Sugar is here. That's not enough sugar. I'm gonna get some different sugar. Oh, oh, yup. Oh, yup. Oh, 
Sarah, hello. Um, our wonderful office neighbors locked the door from the outside. Me, I can't get out until. Like, are you stuck? Wait, 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 wait. Locked the door from the outside. Me, I can't get out until I can get someone to unlock it. This would already be annoying, but it's made worse by the fact that it's the third time today, and the fact I put up a sign telling them not to when I got here. This is the office, not the house. I'm sure you guessed that much, but... Is there anyone who can come and get you? I'm stuck until I can flag down a neighbor to unlock it. Oh, God. I feel like they are just deliberately horrible. This is an ongoing thing. It's an ongoing thing. Oh, dear. Fire, it is genuinely a fire hazard, like no joke. Uh, that is, that's incredibly dangerous, like, to just lock someone in. Where am I measuring things? Here we go. Wait, wrong one. There we go, right one. Is there a bucket you can use to no clip through? Oh dear. All right, I'm gonna do two. There we go. And we want two or three teaspoons of this, or not teaspoons, tablespoons. I'm gonna put about three and I can cook down. Two and a half, there we go. I'll let that heat up for a minute. I'll get the lid on it. Hey Google, set a three minute timer and I'll check it. Okay, oh three minutes, God. and we're starting now. That was, that was very, very loud. Very, very loud. At, at least I heard it, you know, I'll give her that. At least I heard it. Just hold a wooden plate in front of your face, slowly approach the wall, sprint, and use whirlwind sprint. <laughs> Wait, what was it? What's the, what's the shout for whirlwind sprint? I actually don't remember. The fitness gram pacer test, test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test, test that progressively gets more difficult. Does the being down a well help or hinder this? The test is used to measure a student's aerobic capacity as part of the fitness gram assessment. Students run back and forth as many times as they can, each lap signaled by a beep sound. Thank you for the bits. If you would like me to let McDowell out of the office, just let me know. I made door go boom. Door go boom. Now. Now, door go boom. Is that pighead? Thank you. Wool narcast. I don't know what that means. I don't understand. Technicolor, hello, how are you doing? All right, we might as well get everything together for the... Oh, that's the... That's the whirlwind sprint. Sorry, that I completely forgot what we were talking about. World not cast. I don't know how I... I just don't remember that one at all. That's so strange. Why don't I remember that? Anyway. Flour, butter, water. Nice and simple. We need plain flour. Ding. No, not butter, butter, water. We've Listen, we've had one run in with butter, butter, water. I think that's enough for a lifetime. Dorgo boom sounds like something that could be a monster hunter. Oh dear, it, it's kind of got that way about it. Where's the way in scales? What's your favorite thing to make or bake? I actually don't know. I like making scones because they're simple and easy, straightforward, no messing. But I think it's probably a Victoria sponge. I don't know why, it just, there's something about a sponge cake, like I, I usually don't mess them up, which I suppose helps, but they're very good. They're very good, they're delicious, they're easy to make, they're cheap to make as well, which helps. All right, 375. Do I have this on properly? Yes. 375, I don't think this bowl is big enough for everything together. 375. Ah, it's close enough. Box 
squared ash hello came in with the old village bakery raid how are you today i'm according well. to all known laws of aviation ready? there is no way a bee should be able to fly its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground oh you thought i was gonna do that I'm watching you thank you for the bits who Arca, thank you for the bits. All right, I gotta give these a little stir. I just need to make sure nothing goes up in fire over here. Now, it's unlikely that anything will go on fire, but you know, you know. I have a few bits in here that I probably should cut down a little smaller, but I think once it all starts softening up, it'll be grand, it'll be grand, you know? Please use magic to fly. They do use magic to fly. They do. They do. We all know this. Do you not learn that in school? Come on. All right, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of back out of this because I want to make sure it's exactly the right amount. It's only a couple of grams, but it could make all the difference, you know? It could make all the difference. What's the origin of the beans? I actually don't remember. I, I genuinely, I have no notion. I have no memory of how it started. It's just been a thing for a while, and I don't know why. I have no idea. Not a clue. No, no idea. No idea. It's, just, it's always, always been there. Where am I putting this? Here. That'll do. Another little stir. I'm gonna put the lid back on the sugar. That'd be a good one. Otherwise, we might get moisture in the sugar, and you don't want moisture in the sugar. Oh, I think they were around before Dave. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were around before Dave, and that is that is a very a very bold statement, but it, it, it that's the truth. Um, cake and beans on the table, someone mentioned it, made the whole thing about it, cat on now, now the stream meme. That's it. Nice and simple. No messing. Alright, let's see. We need 170... 175 grams of butter, so we need a little plate. Oh, we don't need a little plate, but I like putting it on a plate. It's just kind of easier to organise somehow. I brought all of the knives over here. Of course I can't find any knives. Who called a bee- wait. Who called a bee a mammal? How much butter was it? 175? 175. All right. I don't know why that was so difficult for me to keep in my brain. There are emotional- they are. They are emotional support beans. I'm not taking them away because I know what happened the last time and the time before that and the time before that and particularly one of the first times I will never forget. Never ever forget. All right, here we go. Who would call it be a mammal that could be marsupials? Of course, they're full of soup. Why wouldn't they be? Oh, that's, that's a no brainer, like, come on. All right, we're nearly there. 175, oh, 174, five, there we go. That's the business. That will do. These are mostly mammals except for the bits that aren't, exactly. Like most things. Is that thunder? No, it's not. Okay, carry on. It was just somebody moving a wheelie bin. <laughs> butter tower, behold the tower of butter. How can you call bees marsupials when they are clearly reptiles? Obviously. Obviously. Come on. Let's be realistic here, lads. Alright, that is coming along very nicely. I'm just gonna put it on the smaller hob to continue doing its thing. Please, please switch on. Please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. There we go. It's okay. There's only a mild smell of gas from that. It's fine. You just uh, clear out that mild smell of gas. Right, let that do its thing there. Hey Google, set a five minute timer. Be good. Is it starting to get dark though? Sure. Good five God. Minutes. And we're starting now.
Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna wash my hands. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Oh, that was loud. Anyway. Butter. Google's a, a little excited, a little loud today. What else does I need? Do I need in here? Our cold water, of course, cold water. Um, I have my measuring jug here, 150 mils of cold water we want. Um, about that much. That's too much. That's much. That's about the right amount. There we go. That's the business. Hecha. Oh, holy moly. Right. It is definitely getting dark in here, but you know what? It'll be fine. It'll be grand. Now, let me make sure I'm about to do this properly. So we're placing the flour and mixing bowl, coarsely rubbing the butter, add the water, mix to a soft dough. Right. I'll be grand. The hands are going to be destroyed, so there'll be no sharp close-ups or anything until my hands are clean. All right? Deal. Deal. Let's go. And then just cut the butter in. Um, I love your apron. Where'd you get it? Thank you. It's from... It's from an Etsy store called Hello Shan Creations, I think is the name, but they don't make it anymore. I was actually looking it up ages ago and they stopped making this design in April, but I think they do some other stuff that's still very cute. So I would recommend checking them out if they're still about. It's very cute. Very, very cute. Oh, come on. Come on. Give me that. Yeah, there we go. Right. Butter. Butter, 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 butter. Oh, dear. I really wish I'd had a decent night's sleep last night. <laughs> um, it looks like Dave, is that what you got or just a coincidence? It was, actually I did get it at least partially because of Dave. Dave had only come on the scene very recently though when I got this because it was Christmas 2020, in the run up to Christmas 2020 that I got this. So Dave had only been around a little while at that point, you know. Um, update from Wales. Um, Cadw, the Environmental Service for Wales, cancelled their events for Owain Glinder Day because of Lizzie dying. Glinder, who the, for those who don't know, was the last king of Wales who was killed by the English. Oh, that... Mm, that's, a uh, Hmm. Is Wales okay? Is, is Wales okay? Is Wales doing all right? Wales okay? Does Wales want to talk about... They should have doubled down. Does Wales want to sit down and talk about it? Because we can sit down and talk about it if you want. Bog Marble, hello, how are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Are you well? Oh, Glinda comes back to life to claim his place as the Prince of Wales. I don't know if I'm actually saying that name right. You can correct me on that if you want, because I, my pronunciation in Welsh is not what it used to be at all at all. Uh, I don't think Wales has been okay for the last two centuries, ain't it the way? Oh, I'm saying right, Glinda, like, um, like, Glinda would kind of pronounce, I know it's a name, but it would kind of translate in Irish to English as like, Splendor or beauty or something like that, Glinder. Oh, Glinder. Oh, here we go. I bet as soon as I'm almost done with this, the timer will go off and I'll have to manage it somehow. We'll be grand. Be grand. Skip it up Really hope this comes out nice. Oh, hog whales. Poor whales. Poor whales. Oh dear. Salty Bob, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. How's things on this day today? What's the ticking? Is there a bomb? Oh, I think it was in the song. It was in the music that was playing. Do not have a worry. Do not have a worry at all, at all. No worries. How are you, Kiki? I'm fairly well. I, I absolutely did not sleep enough last night, so I'm sorry if I crash at any point today, but I'm trying. I'm vibing. Vibing. I hope you're vibing too. Lunar Blaze says you've not been from the UK and kind of seen Scottish and Irish Twitters. Oh, it's hilarious. It's a lot. It's it's a lot going on. It's a lot, a lot, a lot going on. Oh, goodness. Just face first into the crumbles. <laughs> oh, dear. Holy moly. Nothing some tea can't fix. I've already had two cups of tea today. I might make another cup of tea once we have like a little, a little lull, do you know? Um, Kara says... Well, I get the feeling that there's some pent up resentment. Well, I wonder, I wonder why. I wonder why. Anyway. <laughs> Are you doing, Kara? Are you well? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Um, wait, 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 the hands are destroyed. 
Let's just give this a little... Ooh, this is looking nice. I think it would do with another little tip of water. Hang on. Everything's going to be destroyed in flour. I'm, I'm at peace with that. I'm absolutely at peace with that. That's fine. I'm okay with this. There we go. There we go, that's the business. I don't want to cook these down too much. I might actually take them off the heat now. I think that's about right. You don't want to too... Ah, you do actually kind of. I, I don't know about anyone else. I like, I like my stewed apples fairly, not watery, just I like them very soft, you know? It's a matter of preference. Oh, holy moly. The tea thing is real. I thought people just overplayed for the joke. I just like a cup of tea, you know? Tea doesn't really wake me up, though, to be fair. Like, it, it kind of does and it kind of doesn't. Like, I could, eat two, I, or, I could eat a cup of tea. I could drink two cups of tea and fall straight asleep, you know? Like, it doesn't really, doesn't really hit me that way. Oh, vending machine. Okay, somebody's gonna have to read out the vending machine to me because my hands are covered in bits and bobs and flour and butter and everything, you know? Um, butter coke sounds like it could be a real thing. Oh no, don't, don't make me think about that. Don't make me think about butter coke. No, it's, ooh. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh, ow. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 What is everybody getting up to for the weekend as well? Anyone doing anything exciting? Exciting at all, because we are, we're going camping. I think I mentioned it earlier and I'm really looking forward to it. Going camping with a couple of friends. It's the last chance we're really going to get to go camping this year before it gets too cold and, you know, too rainy and everything. And as it is, like, I think it's going to be a bit rainy, but sure, look, that's, that's the experience. Here we are, vending machine. The options are butter coke. Sharpie casserole, sprung water, slow roasted skateboard, sweet chili goalpost. Sweet chili goalpost. <sighs> sweet chili goalpost. All delicacies. All delicacies. Patron says I'm going to a school reunion and Jubilee. Going to see some of my friends I haven't seen in years. Ah, that's very nice. Ah, very good. Have a good old time for your good self. That sounds lovely. That sounds really, really nice. All right. This seems fairly together. It's like breadcrumb sort of. I'm going to go through it one more time just to make sure it's all properly together. Um, Nixie Sticks says I'm playing in a D&D one shot for my friend's birthday. I'm playing Florida Man in D&D. Oh, that's brilliant. I'm so excited for you. Holy moly. Sweet Chili Goalpost sounds like a cartoon character's attempt at swearing. Well, Sweet Chili Goalpost. Kind of does, actually, yeah. It is getting very dark outside. I'm sure it's fine. All right. I need to sniffle really quickly. Done. All is well now. All right, now we are going to pop in the water and make a bit of a dough. Jeff, hello, I'm doing a mass card open tomorrow and I'm unreasonably excited about it. You're opening mass cards? That's very unusual, Jeff. Why would you open mass cards on stream? Please don't kill me, please. There's only one of me, please don't kill me. <laughs> I don't know, I'm excited for you. Exciting times. I hope, I wouldn't catch for a few minutes. I, I feel like I miss, I, I miss most people's streams because like, all different time zones, but I'll see if I can tune in while we're on the road, maybe. You never know. You never know. He's going to kill me. I'm dead already. I'm already dead. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm hoping for a rare foil of the Pope, but it's a long shot. Oh, dear. Hang on. I need to go and get the bench scraper. I'm, I'm having a bad time here. Hang on. I still think biblically accurate angel delight. Oh no, that was too good. That's too, too good. All right, that'll... You're going road trip. We're going camping. So we're, we're going across the country to go camping and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. It's been a little while. Not a million years, but a little while since we had the chance to go together as a gang. So we go. Oh, it's just the smell of that. That's okay. I was like, what's that smell? What's burning? Nothing's burning, thank goodness. I'm going to be relaxing and hope to finish a book over the weekend, work on some projects, and I should try to write my term paper. Yes, get, get chipping away at that while you have the chance. Why not? 
Oh. I'm so not ready for a second year of uni on Monday. I'm moving in on Sunday because I struggled to share with eight, eight other people is a lot. Like, I I feel very lucky that I never had that experience because I, I think I would have lost my mind. But I, I hope you get on okay. I really, really hope it goes okay for you. Um, Katie's Batman, hello! Or Katie is Batman, isn't it yourself? Uh, it's been a while, you and Shark are looking gorgeous as always. Ah, thanks. Ah, thanks, we try. <laughs> Sure, um, Dave is not looking too shabby either, I have to say. I think the, the cult activities have really done wonders for his feathers, you know. <laughs> How are you doing yourself? Lovely to have you in. I'm broken, this is a mental... I'm not being funny, I can, I can smell something burning. Like, it's getting a little bit stronger. Just give me a second. This is all definitely switched off. Okay, it is just, there was something on the hob. Don't worry, it's okay, there was something on the hob. Like, a, a little fleck or like a, a drop of something was on the hob and I think that just kind of got a bit mank. It doesn't smell like toast, don't worry. Dave's looking small around, we dare not define him. No, don't define him any further than that. We, we don't need that, that's, that's too much carrying on. If you start defining him more than that, you're bringing the trouble upon yourself, I'll tell you now. <laughs> I'll tell you something for nothing, you're bringing the trouble upon yourself. Okay, this is looking fairly good so far, I think. So what we're going to be doing is we're gonna cut the discs out of this and I'm going to use, cause I don't, I hate having to scrape things out of tins, even if the pastry is supposed to hold out up properly. So I'm using the little cupcake cases cause life is too short and everybody is getting a bottle of sprung water. Hooray. This feels about the right consistency. So I need to, I need to wash, both my hands for just a second and get the worst of this off anyway for a minute. So I can't see, behave for one minute. Okay, the clouds are passing off at least. So far. Right, so what I have to do is do, 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 do. we're going to turn this onto light with our board. The board is going to be the table. And we are going to knead it gently. We've already kneaded it a bit in here, so it's mostly okay. Roll out the pastry on our board count. 24 discs. I need to get the little cutters. It doesn't say what size discs, but 24 of them. Whatever way we can fit them. And we have our rolling pin. There you go. Where are <laughs> rolling pin and where are I have a little set of cutters and I don't know where they are they're just oh, oh I see them they're hidden in the back hurry a ghost wants to help bake well I wish it would we should help a little more peacefully <laughs> sorry I did actually get a little fright there feel like a fool. This is the point where you point an animal object and you say, stay, stay. But sometimes you have to do that. It makes you feel better if you do that. It doesn't necessarily help, but it does make you feel better. Fun oh, trivia. Yeah. Did, Did you, you know, know one of the, the first, first proponents of biofuel was, was none other than Benito, Benito Mussolini? Mussolini. Sure, sure, the rest of his legacy isn't all that great, but at least he made the trains run on time. The worst thing is I've heard this several times before and each time I'm still kind of taken by surprise. Jeff Eastoffelees, you take that back this instant, right now. 
Oh dear. Oh, broken. This is actually, I would say it's a fairly mild day today, to be honest. Like, it, we have a lot of people who would normally be here who are playing Splatoon, and they're right too. Like, they absolutely should. You, you can come back and watch me later after the fact, but you can't play Splatoon on, on launch day a second time, you know? It's actually a fairly tame day to today, altogether. Right, lightly flowers. Lightly, 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 lightly. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can we ban Jeff? No. No, because if I ban Jeff, I'll have to ban all of you. And you know, that's that's a slippery slope. If I start banning all of you, what am I gonna do? Who's gonna take the mick out of me every so often, you know? Who's gonna keep me humble? <laughs> Mozzarella, hello, good news, dear little grandparents for the weekend. I love going there to help me escape from life for a while. Oh, I hope you have a lovely, lovely, lovely time. Uh, lovely, lovely to have you in as well for a little bit. And I hope you have a, a nice old time. Kova, oh my goodness. I wonder how many people learned that way. I have to, I have to wonder. I have to wonder. Another interesting spot too, my interest too bad for it to work. Oh no. So I think that was part of why I, well, I... I didn't have a Wii U when the first Splatoon came out, but I, I remember trying it and I think I was playing it on like... I was playing it online but on like a bad internet connection and I couldn't get my head around like the motion controls and everything. I got I got overwhelmed and I just never went back to it. And that was... Goodness, that would have been... 2015 or 16. So that was the last time I tried playing Splatoon. It's been a while. Like that was the first one, I suppose it would be. Don't really know how I'm gonna manage this. I really hope it turns out nice. Uh, I'm still playing this Platoon One single player loves, and you know what? If they're good, you're right too. You absolutely should. I'm gonna cut this in half because I want to make sure I actually get this kind of even. You can turn off. You can turn off motion. I was asked the person who was letting me try the game out was like she was like hey you know these are the controls I was like do you have to use motion controls and she was like yes you have to use motion controls and I so that's why I was so disoriented because I'd never I'd used the Wii U before but not really for like fast gameplay so I was just I was completely out of it you know I was completely out of my depth mm -hmm. all right let's get we get 12 out of this I was lying to you. Now maybe they didn't know either. Maybe they were as new to the game as I was and I didn't fully realize, but look at I might try it yet. I might play Splatoon yet. I do have a Wii U now as well. So, you know. That's no good for the new one, I realize, but Competitive players like to use motion controls when dyspraxic, so I can't really I, that's mad because I would always assume that in like competitive gameplay for video games. I would never expect motion controls to come into it. Like, are, are there professional Mario Kart players who use motion controls? I'm using tilt controls. Like, and I'm not taking the mic. I'm not being funny. Like, is that is that a thing? Is is that? No, oh, sorry, that was just a bit of dust. There was something on this. It was hitting my hand. Um, Animus has done a Wii U for Splat One, but I played two from launch and loved it. It does seem like the kind of thing you can just kind of jump in and play it. You know, you don't really need to be. You don't need to be knowing all the ins and outs, you know? Calvin, thank you for the bits. Did you know sharks love the taste of the it's internet? True. In 1987, it was reported by the New York Times that sharks have shown an inexplicable taste for the new fiber optic cables that are being strung along the ocean. It's true. They just want a little nibble. Geeky Cultures, hello, how are you doing? And Moon Cows, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in, one and all. I hope I can get 12 out of this, because if I can't, it's going to be... Oh, actually, that 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 expanded a lot more than I expected it to. They love surfing the web! Oh, Aesthetic Lou, eat the, in eat the internet. Eat the internet. Do it. You eat that internet. Okay, it doesn't say how big these discs need to be, but I need to have 12 of them. And they need to be, like big enough to come up at the sides, which means they'd need to be like, I want to say around this size-ish. I don't know how I'm gonna get 12 of these out of this. But I feel like this might be another case of me just having cut everything a little bit too thick. Because sometimes I'm afraid I'll roll something too thin and it'll go kind of weird, you know? You know that feeling? I'm gonna skip the Wii Shop theme because I've heard it so many times in these mixes that I'm actually gonna lose my mind, even though it is a banger. I, I will pay someone money to make Nintendo mixes where they don't use the Wii Shop theme. 
I played him for 10 hours in a row has made me feel like <laughs> it's made me feel my hands. And I don't like that. Feel your hands or not feel your hands. All right, how many of you? One, two. Okay, let me just. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm getting way more out of this than I expected. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I think I might have actually rolled this a little too, th too thin. <sighs> how do I always manage this? Doesn't matter. Let's go again. It'll be grand. Pichu Quill, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, are you well? I hope I don't absolutely destroy this. I wonder, should I chill? I might chill these for a few minutes. Although I don't know if it's really gonna matter if I'm gonna put the, the, the hot filling in. Like, I don't know if that's gonna make much of a difference. I don't know how thick this needs to be. It's like, yeah, it's like rice. You always have a little more than you expect to. It, has anyone ever cooked the right amount of pasta for one person? Without using like a measure or without weighing it. Has anybody by eye ever cooked the correct amount of pasta for one person? Mooncast says, how's the weather? It's just started raining in the last few minutes, but it's nice. It's nice. It's fresh rain. If I say that, I'll like it more, you know? Oh, people have, because I can never, I can never judge the right amount. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to lose my mind. That's not big enough. Hang on. We need to roll it out more. We need to go bigger. Fear we will never get it right, so I'll just have to go for it this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's close enough. Okay. It's close enough for my liking. Una Bomberman, thank you very much. I think this is too small. This is too small. I need the bigger one. I need the next one up. I don't know how I'm gonna make this work. I probably had it right the first time then. Everything's terrible. That's not quite true. That's not true at all. That's not, that's not true. We'll manage, we'll get this eventually. And it'll taste all the nicer for us having the patience do it properly. Oh dear. Have you ever had to redo a recipe completely from scratch? Oh, a few times. Now, thankfully, I've usually, if I've had it happen on stream, I've caught it early on. But there's been a few times where I've realized my mistake halfway through and I actually haven't had the ingredients or the time to go back and I just had to hope it came out nice. Now, sometimes it works out okay, sometimes it doesn't. The butterscotch pie. The butterscotch pie. I still, I still get angry about it sometimes because it was such a silly, a silly, silly little mistake. Like there was a couple of things I just mixed up in the recipe, and there was something I was missing, and it was just, it just all went downhill from there. And um, Yonch says, "How do you keep your kitchen relatively clean while baking?" I don't. I keep all the mess just barely off camera. <laughs> Most of the mess goes into the sink or like just over in that corner where like it is visible, but because chat is going up and down here, you don't notice it as much. It's not as much on camera as it would be otherwise. Hey, 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 it's sticking, it's sticking, it's sticking. It's sticking. I tried to stream with Mimi and her kitchen totally exploded. Oh no, it is, it's tough. Like it, it really, really is tough to keep on top of everything. Like it gets very messy very quickly if you're not keeping an eye on it. And it's, it's rough. It is very, very rough. And when I was in home ec in school, we were taught the whole thing of like, clean as you go. Naturally, I didn't take that on board at all. So every so often I'll take one minute and I'll just throw everything in. 
into the dishwasher and hope for the best. That's my advice. That's the best advice I can give you. Throw everything in the dishwasher and it'll probably be grand. TM. This is just... Ugh. I'm gonna have to start cutting this stuff out. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not even measuring it this time. I'm just gonna start cutting. One, two, three, four, five. I should probably see if this is the right size. It's a better size. Mm, it's still a bit small. Like this is definitely still a bit too small. Even if I put it in there, I have to go the next size up again. Like it, it wouldn't say what size I needed, which was really fr frustrating. Which leads me to think like, how thin is this supposed to be? Hang on, we'll cut out one of these. We'll see what it's like. And Piggett says I made a cake with butterscotch icing once where the icing would consistently, constantly crystallize into a rock no matter what. I melted it back down, add some glucose syrup, and it turned out just like the photo. That's pretty good. That's a very good save. Holy moly. Well done. See, even this, like, it, it, it feels like it's too thick or something. Or maybe, maybe, actually, yeah, maybe I've just rolled it too thick. Okay, last attempt <laughs> with this batch. Because it's starting to get a bit, it's starting to get a bit weird, you know? It's starting to get a bit weird. <laughs> Boys at home, I can needlework for half a year in the eight year age. My school, the girls did tech drawing and metal work. We just did everything. We were a, we're a mixed school when I was in school and we just, we had the option to do whatever we wanted, which was pretty good. It was, it, it's kind of weird to split subjects like that, you know? The crumble on top is different. Don't worry at all. The crumble on top is entirely different. We'll be making that separately. I'm so determined to make this work. I'm so determined. Oh, I'm so determined. So determined. We're gonna, we're gonna make this nice. It's gonna be super nice. I recently started baking with our new air fryer. I've seen a lot of people baking with air fryers, actually. We don't have an air fryer, but you know, if it works, why not? It's like, it's a little less clean up. It's handy. Would you do like the same baking time and everything? Sorry, I have to, I have to kind of get up like this to do this properly. Would you give the same baking time or do you have to adjust at all for an air fryer? We do have a second half of dough. I just, I don't want to waste this if I can help it. You know, I want to at least have a test batch to go in. Test batch. Okay. Surely that's thin enough. Surely. That feels like shrunk. That did get smaller when I picked it up. How did. How, what? It, uh huh? That... I feel like I'm losing my mind. Like, I actually... I, someone keep, keep track of how many times you restart. I actually feel like I'm losing my mind. Like, I cut it and it's, it... It shrunk. Like, look at that. I'm so confused. This was supposed to be a nice, simple, relaxing recipe to do today. No, that, that is too big. That will be too big. Like, uh, am I losing it? I, I really hope I'm not losing it. Like, I know I didn't get a full night's sleep, but it wasn't that bad. Okay. Now we're just gonna carefully take it on one side. I'm not joking, that's... It's shrinking as soon as I pick it up. It shrinks from losing the tension. Are you serious? Oh my God. That's probably happened to me a load of times I've not even noticed. Like I'm cutting this size and it's coming out this size. I feel, I actually do feel like I'm going insane right now. Like I'm sweating. What am I gonna do? Okay. Expand the circle? So we cut out this size. Mm. 
That is closer to this size. We tried making pastry thicker. See, we're supposed to be able to get 12 of these. So if I make it thicker, we won't get that many. And this pastry's starting to get a bit mank, and it's not really sitting in properly. Like, it's shrinking as I'm holding it. Like, I, I genuinely feel like I'm going insane. I'm gonna be honest, lads. I've half a mind to scrap the mini thing and just do one big apple pie. Or apple crumble, rather. Because this is very, very weird, and I can't seem to find a way to deal with it. Because if I roll it out more, it just seems to be going... You know? And I'm trying to hand press as well. Like, I'm trying to, like, pull it like this, but it's actually, it's, it's going back together. If <laughs> you consider we're all going insane, it wouldn't be the first time. And it, it definitely, definitely won't be the last time. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it, it, they keep going kind of oval, which is weird. I think we should just, all right. Will you support me if I just make one big apple pie? Or apple crumble, rather. Are we okay with that? I do have an apple crumble sized tin as well, which I think will do the job grand. It'll be a little more annoying to bring with me, but I, I think it'll be worth the strain just for not losing my mind on stream. <laughs> I'm so, con I'm really annoyed about that because I would like, I, I would have much preferred to make, you know, that. Now I wonder, we might need to make a little bit more of a filling is the only thing. Yeah, we'll need to make more filling if we're doing this, or we could just make a smaller one. You know what, I think I'll make a smaller one. Let's make a smaller one. I've always had weird issues with trying to cut dough for small stuff like that. Like it always seems, that's not from that. It always seems to do something weird, you know? Now where's the little bit that goes on this? Hang on, there's a little, little circle that goes in here. Give me a second. Do, 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 do. Uh, it's not in here. Hmm. Hmm. I'm very confused. I feel like everything is going a bit sideways today, lads. Hang on, I can see it, I can see it. Oh, come here. Oh, that was a voyage. I got it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Wait, that's not it either. What? I'm going to find this. I'm going to find this. It's, it's like a circle of metal I'm trying to find in here. And unfortunately, it's the same color as everything else in here. Pray for me. I might get lost in here. I might just go missing. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Is it in here? It's not. I feel like this crumble really does not want to be made. Hmm. What are we gonna do? It must be in here. Like, I, there's nowhere else it could have gone to, do you know? There's nowhere else it could be only in here. I'm very confused. I'm very, very confused. Hmm. If I was a piece of this tin, where would I be? Hiding tin, where is that? Where is the tin? Do you have the tin? I, I do feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm like little bits of hair sticking up out of my head, like losing my mind. I'm like, where is the tin? Where is the tin? <laughs> 
If we can't find the tin, we can actually just make one big crumble. We'll just, it'll take a little longer because we'll have to stew more apples. But you know what? Do you know what? It'll be grand. Because listen, if we stew more apples, we make a bigger crumble. It means we get to eat more crumble. We get to eat more crumble. That's the opposite of a problem. The tin is a lie. The tin is a lie. Look at, like, I have to show you this. I just think it's funny. Right, these are the same color. No, they're just both from Ikea. Found this. This is actually bigger. Also, Jedi, thank you for the bits. Thank you so much. You're three good. Thank you for being patient with me. I just can't find it. It's gone. Ah! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I could use this. I could use this tin. It's a bit old. It's a bit mank. It, like, it's not... It's not dangerous. It's just a bit aged, you know? Frog Nessie, hello. Oh, are we on the front page? Oh, that'll do. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Are you well? I think maybe my time slot got moved around some strange way, but do you know what? I don't mind as long as we're here. Lovely to have you. How are you doing? Here, tinny, 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 I feel so bad for anyone on the front page of Twitch coming on for some like quality entertainment and they get me going around my kitchen going, here, tinny, 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 I don't know what anyone expects from me really, but. It looks mank, you have to trust me. This is fine, I wouldn't use it if it wasn't. Okay, we're gonna make a big one. Oh. oh no, please go back, okay. See this pile? I'm putting the pile over here. The pile lives over here now. Oh, I bet you anything. When I'm cleaning up after stream, I will find the thing for this tin, I'll find it. Manky tin crumble, you be nice to my manky tin crumble. <laughs> Julian, thank you so much for the bits as well, I don't know if I said. Okay. Miniature is out the door. We're not making mini ones anymore. I'm going to take these back. I'm going to save them. I just cannot get this to behave. So what I'm going to do for just a minute, just a minute, is I'm going to, while we're stewing some extra apples, I'm going to put, mm, where's the cling de film? Où est le cling film? Oh, there it is. This roll of cling film is like older than most people. Not most people here, most people. I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to pop it in the fridge for just a few minutes. Mad people always been funny, maybe the insensitive is true and historically accurate. It's true. I mean, I'm happy to be one of them, like by all means. <laughs> I'm calling now, Kate, find him. I'll probably find it when we're done with the recipe. I'll be like, no, I thought I'd actually seen it there. Like, no, no, I probably will. Like, do you know when you're trying to find something, you're like, oh, it has to be around here somewhere. And then you forget about it. You're like, no, I'll cope without it. And then you forget about it. And you cope without it. And then you find it. Shark, are you sitting on the... No, he's not. He's not. He's a very polite shark. I'm watching you. <laughs> I do feel kind of like, at this stage, I'm, I'm walking around. I'm just like, did you take it? Did you take it? <laughs> All right, this is going in the fridge for a while just to keep it nice and cool. Uh, it can go in next to the sun, Julie. That's a nice cold lump of something. I'm giving up. This dough is going into the, the big oven in the sky. This is going away now. This, this can go. Can we get some? Can we get a salute for this poor lump of dough? Rest in peace. Oh, hang on. Let me just, I get, I was gonna say I get a run up to it, but I can't get a run up to it if I'm holding it in my hand. All right, let me, We're gonna get a good loud slap on this, okay? You ready? I don't have to worry about it. It's not gonna be consumed, so I don't feel bad anymore. Oh, that's kind of like a brain. A very pale brain. Very, very pale brain, but... Oh, that's weak. Ooh! That's loud. Is it a smooth brain? It is now. <laughs> I hope nobody's coming here for professional baking. Okay, into the bin, into the Busker Bruce, Grislan, Lat, Ioha. Right, we are going to have to peel the other two apples. I'm fairly sure, because I don't know if we're gonna have enough in this for this tin. No, we need more, we need more. Who we got? Shiromi, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Right, so I'm going to transfer the already 
stewed apple into this bowl. I'm gonna pop it in there. It's gonna sit in there. We're gonna have louder Delfino Plaz. Why is the Google Home so loud and the music is so quiet? Hang on. Hang on, we, got, we, we have to... I'm really confused. I don't know why it's so, so quiet. Because it means when I talk to the thing, it comes up super, super loud. It takes the ears out of my head, you know? No way to be. No way to be living. Can I interest you in some possibly over stewed to some people apple? A little, a little stewed apple. I do like to over stew the apple a little bit. Here, here comes the airplane. I should probably taste this at some point, but just maybe not like that. Maybe a, a more elegant way than that. I can't figure this out at all. Why is it so quiet? Let turn it up. If she comes up loud, she comes up loud. That's it. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna move some bits and bobs. So the dough can stay in there. I'm just gonna put these out of the way for the minute. We can get them back in a minute. Where did I put the, oh, the peely knife. All right, peely knife. Peely knife, and we can get the chopping board back. Oh, bird, oh my God, this bird. Thank you so much for seven months at tier two. Doing a little work while I work. Hope you're having a great day. We're having a fine one all together. We did have a little, a little confusion and a mishap because um, I couldn't roll out the dough properly to make tiny mini apple crumbles. So we're making a full sized apple crumble, which honestly, how bad, how bad. It means we get more, more crumble for ourselves, more apple. Oh, Dan, hello, we are having a party. Can we get a shout out for our little indie streamer, Dan? How are you doing? <laughs> How are you? Are you well? Um, Hitcha. Do you want some apple crumble by any chance? <laughs> I wanted to make it, so let me, let me run you through, just for anyone who's coming in late as well. I wanted to make some teeny tiny little apple crumble tartlets. I wanted to make like a few, just little ones that you can, you know, share and mess around and, you know, give to people. And I couldn't roll the dough out thin enough. <laughs> It kept like, I, I would cut it with this and as soon as I'd pick it up, it would shrink down to this side. I was like, no, I'm not doing it. We're just gonna, the old fashioned way, no messing. We're just gonna make a nice apple crumble, normal standard size, you know? No messing around. Hacha. <laughs> Spread the love to the ah. Oh goodness. Wouldn't say no, you know what? We, we might be able to drop some off to you. You never, you never know. I'm gonna throw this on the table like an animal now because Actually, do you know what? We've been through so much in the last like 20 minutes, so we want a cup of tea. I genuinely think I need a cup of tea. Like the, the stress of not being able to roll that out properly, not being able to get the missing piece of the tin. Hands in the air, who wants a cup of tea? I think we've earned it at this stage. You've definitely earned it for putting up with me slowly going insane over the last 40 minutes. <laughs> oh dear. Why are streamers popping up in each other's chats? Because we're all mortal enemies and we're checking in on each other to see who's been working out. Because the fight is coming soon. <sighs> it's true, yeah? We re we hate each other so much. So like, oh, don't, don't get me started. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, holy moly. I hope nobody wants coffee because I, I can't make coffee. I can't do that, unfortunately. I cannot. I cannot. We've already banned him once. What? What's a second time, you know? Who have we got coming? Oof, hello, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Twitch Wii boxing match when I've actually, I've never, I don't know if I've played. Oh no, I would have done because I played these sports. I guess. I guess. There can only be one. Oh, holy moly. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh dear, oh dear, we're going to get this made. We're going to get this, this crumble made. I'm like, I'm so determined. We've gotten this far. We can't give up now. <laughs> oh dear. I like, I expected we'd be not almost finished at this point that like, you know, we'd be wrapping up maybe a little early or we'd take a while to have a little chill and a chat, but not. <laughs> I'm glad the, the, the microphone is uh, fully charged today. Don't crumble now, I... Are we not all crumbling all the time? Don't start me. <laughs> Isn't there a thing where you throw a long apple peel on the floor and the shape is supposed to mean something? Hang on, we'll try it out in a second. Hey Google, 
Set a five minute timer and please don't shout at me. Okay, five minutes. Okay. And that's starting now. Got it, I'll be so quiet. Hey Google, what's one plus one? The answer is two. She lied, she lied to me. She lied to me, she told me a lie. All right, so if you throw an apple peel on the floor, long apple peel, it's supposed to mean something. It means I have to pick it up now. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, do you ever play? <laughs> I say play, do you ever, do you ever be somewhere where you have no internet and someone has a pack of cards, it's like, oh, let's play a card game. And everyone's like, ah, and you get that one person who's like, oh, let's play 52 card pickup. <laughs> oh god, all oh, 52 card pick. McFlurry test flavors. Give me a second. McFlurry test flavors. Be Bean and tea, early blue, tinny rust or cauliflower. You know, I did McFlurry recently and I think if I if I found cauliflower in McFlurry, I think I think I would turn to dust. I think I would just, I would disappear from this plane of existence. I'd be gone. I would be gone. Oh, goodness. Sue McDonald's, honestly, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, cauliflower in the right setting is great, you know? If you're expecting cauliflower. If you have cauliflower in your McFlurry, among all the Smarties. <sighs> Okay, thank you for the bits. I thank you very much. So in the old Brothers Grimm story, the juniper tree, you get granted a wish if you can peel off all the apple skin in one piece. But if you cut yourself, you're fated to die. Oh. I've actually never heard of that. I don't think. I feel like I've heard something similar about like taking all the peel off something in one go, but I, I don't know if I've heard about it. Like you're fated to die if you cut yourself doing it. Maybe they had blunter knives at that point, but that's mad. I never heard that. Not properly, anyway. Thank you for the bits, by the way. And the, the tidbit. I'd never heard that. It's a very grim story where the father eats his own son. Mythology is... Mythology is something else. It's something. I was going to say, oh, they just made it up. Obviously, they made it up. Somebody had to make it up at some point, but, you know. Brothers Grimm Squid Games. Oh, no. Yeah, actually, you know what? It's like the, oh, what was the little, what's the name of the candy, the thing, he, your man, he had to like, scratch it out. What's that called? It's an actual thing. I can't remember what it's called. Let's do both these apples. I'd rather have too much filling in this than not enough. No, Brother's Grimm's not mythology, but you know what I mean? Like folk, folk stories and stuff like that. Like they, I don't want to say they're, the, they're not the same. They're not the same at all, but you know, they, they kind of go hand in hand in certain ways, do you know? Dalgona, that's it. Dalgona candy. That's exactly it. Oh, holy moly. Uh, all we have here is apple peel. Apple peel. Pickett says, I played a game of Uno with custom rules. Each player had a stack of cards about as tall as a regular Uno deck, and if you didn't play a card in 10 seconds, your turn was skipped. I... I need to admit something to you, lads. I've never played a game of Uno. I've never, ever played Uno. We have Uno here, I've just never played it. Ever. I've just, I've just, just never got around to it, you know? I'm not sitting here like, oh, I had a hard childhood because I never had Uno. No, I just, I just never got around to it, you know? It just, it never, it was never in my, it was never in my path, you know? It's a social game that's nothing spectacular. It's been crack, I imagine, you know? A bit of messing. I've also never played Monopoly, I don't think. And to be honest, I, <laughs> I from watching other people play Monopoly, I'm, I'm in no rush to play Monopoly. It's not on my to-do list. I played Uno for six years straight, you're honestly not missing out on much. Oh my goodness. Holy moly. 
All I know about Monopoly is that it gets very intense very quickly and people get very angry very quickly and you know what? You're lucky to miss Monopoly. Anytime I think of Monopoly, all I think of is like the cropped bit of the logo with your man just going, no. <laughs> That's how I feel about playing Monopoly. All right, I have to concentrate for one second. I just need to... Fine, I'll concentrate in a minute. I'm just going to do that because otherwise it's not particularly safe to have it sitting there. Oh, But yeah, 52 card pickup. It's when, sorry, I never explained that to anybody who didn't know what it was. You get the deck of cards, you throw it in the air, you pick up 52 cards, that's it. That's it. It is the, someone said it best, it is the, <laughs> the card game equivalent of tying someone's shoelaces together. That's it. That's it. That's the, that is the joke. <laughs> Funny how my pastry's never shrunk, it's broken a bit, however, I've had to stick it together. That, that's the thing, it's never happened to me before, I don't think. I've had a few weird happenings with, like, pastry that needs to be in small bits, so it's something I have to work on. I'll get around to it. I'll get around to it. Monopoly just usually meant elaborate deals, elaborate deals which wouldn't have actually flown if we played by the rules, which now I think about is entirely fitting. I wish I had the brain power to play chess. And like, I, I know how chess works. I've just never been able for it. I've played only played you know once, played DOS a couple of times and Trey three times. Been workshopping that one all day, you and have we? <laughs> thank you for the bits, I thank you very much. High five the shark, I would, but my hands are covered in bits of apple, but you can give him a hug if that's any good to you. Actually, what, how many hugs are we on at the minute? I'm just gonna throw this here, otherwise I'd be back and forth all day. Cause we are nearly near another, another milestone. Very, very nearly. We are at 69239. You know what the next milestone is. 69420 is the next milestone. We're not far off it, lads. We could do it today if we all put our heads together. We put our, our thinking caps on. The thinking caps won't help at all, but like, you know, it, it makes us feel good about ourselves. <laughs> right, that's there. E that's fine, it just cuts off that. Yes, you missed the, the milestone was, um, it was on Wednesday, I think we hit it. Yes, it was, it was Wednesday. And during the Euro Truck stream. Great crack, great crack all together. All right, we're gonna cut all of these up. Is there anything in here that I should know about, hmm? No, there's not, there's nothing. Nothing at all. Um, I'm actually, I'm really sorry for anyone coming in and looking for the recipe. I have gone off recipe. I am now making this up because we, <laughs> we couldn't make the small ones. So we're just making one big apple crumble. So it's not so much that we're making it up, but we're just, we're making it bigger and making it one. <laughs> we're making it one big boy. I've gone rogue, exactly. <laughs> I've gone rogue. I've gone wild. To be honest, if you want the recipe I'm using, which is, it's an approximation of that, if you go to the same website, follow the link and just look for an apple crumble on the Oddlums website, that'll do you grand. I'm still following a similar recipe. I'll just have to change the amounts for stuff, do you know? Making mega crumble, that's the one. Mega crumble or nothing. I'm also cutting this like a, like, like, like an, an idiot, but that's okay. That is okay. Just want it all to, yes, yes, perfect. They're all in little bits. Pick it, thank you for the bits. He's gone rogue. <laughs> Take the shot. No, please, I have so many apple crumbles to live for. Thoughts is only if you do that, I'm gonna head out for the evening. Have a good one. Thoughts, we'll see you soon. It was lovely to have you in as always, and we will catch you again, I hope. Soon, 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 soon. Okay, stewing the apples, round two. Let's... Don't do that. Don't do what I just did. That's very dangerous. I could have stabbed myself in the foot and then I would be in tremendous amounts of pain and I would have to go to the hospital. Do not do that. I know I didn't do it deliberately, but you know. Be very careful with your sharp boys. Because they're, they're very sharp. And they don't want you to know that, but I'll, I'll tell you something. They'll tell you eventually. Okay, we need some shukra. I'm gonna put in like a tablespoon and a half. 
and a few bits of water, just a few bits, you know, when you get an individual bit of water. Um, have you ever thought about what Shark and Dave would look like if they were human? Yes. More Dave than Shark. And we do have a handsome Dave emote. If anybody happens to have it, now is your opportunity. Ark Skyr, thank you so much for your prime. I hope I've said your name right as well. I thank you very much. That's very good of you. You're three good. Come on, please. Give me, give me water. There we go. Now, that'll, that'll do the job, I hope. Give it a little stir. Hey, Google. Set a timer for three minutes. All right, three minutes. And we're starting now. All right, I'm going to sip my tea for a minute. I'll deal with everything else. When the time comes around, I need to sip my tea. Apple crumble tart is actually what I made for my cool. Oh, for your tech exam in high school. Oh, brilliant. I really wish I, I could have made them properly today. We're making one big crumble and that's it. One big crumble. Lovely. Ark Oleg Squire, of course. Sorry, I didn't pick that up at all. Ark Squire, thank you so much. How are you doing? Come in, come in. And ooh, welcome back. I accidentally paused the stream and realized when I looked over and cake looked frozen and spooked just ooh. Oh, goodness. Here, quick, have a little sip of the tea. It's a nice, fresh cup of tea. I think we've all earned it for what we've gone through so far today. Hey, 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 leave, leave some for the rest of us. Come on! Jeez, we have to we have to make sure everybody gets a little sip, you know? Bucket Monkey, hello from Ireland. How are you doing? We we have a fair few people who come in here from Australia actually. Nice to see you. How are you keeping? Oh, holy moly. Oh. Okay. I really need a massage. My my entire <laughs> I, I, my entire shoulder just feels like a rock. I'm going to change the music a little. Oh, I know what I want. There's a nice upbeat Pokemon. Hang on, upbeat Pokemon music. Where is it? Where is it? Where, here it is. It's only an hour long, but it'll do the job. It just, it's just got a nice little bop to it, you know? Hello from Sweden, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. It's just as nice little, you know, I feel like I should be doing a little stroll along when I hear this. You know, it, it's got that quality to it. <laughs> Samurai is good news. I, my geography exam today, and I'm pretty sure I aced it. Yes! Give it up for Samurai! Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I'm delighted for you. You love to see it. You love to see it. Bob Marvel says, Cake, have you ever played Temtem? I haven't, but I remember when it was. um. I think it was in like an open beta or something, or there was an early release, whatever it was. What was it? Early access, that's what they called it. And I saw it on the front page of Steam there the other day, so they must have the full release. I must give it a look some at some point. At some point. Sound alumni, hello, your accent's amazing. Thank you, I try. I try, I try. I don't try at all. It just it just comes out of my mouth and I keep saying it. <laughs> How are you doing, Sound? Are you well? Oh, anti-social AI. Well, well spotted. Well spotted. They do they do be there though. And goodness forbid I take them away from the people. I don't think they can handle it a second time. Actually, no, no, no. I haven't taken them away at all. They just didn't have it at all last week. What's your favorite Pokemon? Looking forward to Scarlet Violet. I have one of them pre-ordered already. Hey, Google. Set a three-minute timer. And then that should be good to put on the lower heat. Sure. Three minutes. I now. think it was Violet I pre-ordered. Whichever one has the, the nice lady professor. <laughs> um... I have a load of favorite Pokemon. It's really hard for me to choose a favorite. I like all of the, the cute, the cute spooky Pokemon. So I like Pumpkaboo and Mimikyu and Litwick and Chandelure. Like all of those, I just think they're great. Yes, Scarlet is the lady. Okay, then it's Scarlet I, I pre-ordered. I hope I pre-ordered the right one. I hope I did. <laughs> oh dear. Um, a burp friend told me about you since the first time I'd be able to watch. Oh, I'm very good. You're a friend of Alex Burp. Lovely to see you. Very nice. Very nice. I'm glad you can make it along on this day today. I can confirm professors here in Spain are like them. I... Oh, Tommy, you need... You... If you say this on Twitter, do you, un... do you know how many... Do you know how many international students you're going to get in, in Spain if you put this on Twitter? That's all I'm saying. That's all, That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Do you have any idea of the power? <laughs> I 
Oh dear. What about Benet? I like Benet as well. Not one of my favorites, but I do appreciate Benet. I also like, um, there's, there's so many that I like that I, 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 it's not that I forget, but you know, sometimes, sometimes the brain isn't switched on, you know? I like, I can't remember, I can't remember. Oh, Miss Madris and Miss Streetus. Both of them, both of them. Can't leave one out, I can't be doing that. What star should we be picking? I haven't fully decided yet, I don't think. Because I, I, I like Quaxi a lot, but I always go for a water type. I almost always go for a water type, so I might... You know what? I might change it this time. You never know. You never, ever know. This is looking good now. I'm I maybe not going to cook these ones down quite as much, so I can mix it in with a whole lot. I didn't do it. So I can mix it in with a whole lot, and it'll be grand. I just... I think the funny Nintendo animals are neat. Me and you both. Me and you both. Has anyone else made their mind up already on what starter they want? I usually pick fire, but Sprigatito, Sprigatito, you and I know. I like Sprigatito, I think it's really cute. They're all cute. <laughs> like, they're, they're all very cute. And like, I don't play Pokemon competitively and I've barely, barely ever streamed it, essentially never. And so I, I don't really mind too much about, you know, who is the strongest or the best. I don't care about the meta. I just want the cute Pokemon. <laughs> I just want the cuties. That's all I care about. All right, this is looking pretty good. Hey Google, add five minutes to my timer. All right, five please, minutes please. added to your three Please minute light, timer. please light. You've got five minutes and 14 seconds remaining. Nice, okay, this is on a very, very low heat over here. I'm gonna let that go. Oh, that smell of sugar is so nice. I'll let that go and be grand. I need to sit down again because my, my entire back and body are just like crunchy, so crunchy. Um, Right, Suka, hello, as long as Sprigatito, Sprigatito doesn't go by pedal. They need to stop putting starters on their hind. They need to stop standing them up. They need to stop standing Pokemon up when they do not need to be standing on two legs. There's no need for it. There's no need for Pokemon standing on two legs. There's no, 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 it is, it is wrong. It is messed up, I do not like it. Oh, goodness. Anyway, anyway, now I feel better. Now I feel, now I feel better. Sorry, I had to let that out. <laughs> Hatlin, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in. Um, is it just me or does Quax, Quaxy look fascist? Oh no. Oh no. Kate, do you like Hatena? Is, is that the hat Pokemon, the fairy type from Gen last? Gen eight? I've lost track of how many gens we've had. Is that the one? Is that the one? The, yeah, the big lady with the hat who is shaped like this. I like, yeah, she, she's very cool. I'm pretty sure I've had one in my party in Pokemon Sword pretty much since I, since I got her, she's been in my party the whole time. Little cupcakes, hello. I'm so glad you can give him a little hug if you want. Exclamation mark, hug shark. It's free, it's easy. It's good for you. I, I'm not 100% I'm not sure of that last one, but look, no one's complained yet. <laughs> And lots me poppy, thank you. I did it myself. I thank you very, very much. How's this doing over here? This is, it's not in fire and that's what I care about. <laughs> What's the shark's name? This is Oscar. Oscar. Oscar is short for, Oscar the shite out of me. It's a good strong name for a good strong shark, you know? Very important. Named after Oscar Wilde, but Oscar the shite out of me. <laughs> I love him, me too. Me too, he's a good shark. I'm so sorry, I'm sitting down so much and just, oh, you know, kind of wrecked. <laughs> Sprigatito, stand up, I dare you. Like, I just, I want, I want Pokemon to stop shaping up to me like this when I look at their sprites. They're just like, you know, it's scary, I don't like it. <laughs> no, they're grand, like, they're, they're actually fine, it's just, you know, you know, you know. And if you don't know, stay not knowing. How's this doing? It's not like I've checked it in the last 35 seconds. Are you soft yet? You're not. Oh, no, it's getting there. Okay, we're nearly there. Very, very nearly there. And then we're going to take it off of here. And we're going to put it in a bigger... Actually, I might just throw everything in the bowl together. And just... Not the bowl. The pot. And just get it all together. And the second I key in, my country opened up in my city recently. I've decided on what I need for my birthday already. My very own vlog. Yes! As it should be. As it should be. Right, do you know what? I'm gonna start making some moves. I'm gonna move this over here. I'm going to put 
all of this in the compost bin. <laughs> Spaghetti-to wrestler man suplex him. Oh dear. My favorite Pokemons is Pikachu, which are Deoxys, Grim Snarl, and another new Surulege. I don't know if I've seen that one. I I'm not avoiding spoilers, so I, I don't mind too much, but I, I haven't been keeping up with a lot of the Pokemon news just because I, I've forgotten. I have forgotten. You know an, an experience that I would really like at some point? I want to play a Pokemon game knowing absolutely nothing about it before I go in. I know it's not really possible, like we'll always know something, but I want to know nothing. I would love to go into a Pokemon game like like a complete surprise, no notion of what's going to happen, no notion of what the Pokemon are, like actually go in and just discover things as they happen and discover new Pokemon having never seen them before because that was the experience I had playing Pokemon Pearl when I was much younger and that's that's the feeling I've been chasing ever since listen I've been chasing that feeling since 2007 and I've never gotten it since <laughs> I went to Shield knowing nothing with the cover that that's a great experience because like on reflection Shield is it's a grand game like you know it's it's different but I I I appreciate it more now as time has passed, you know? Cool Con, hello! Surulege is the dark purple black warrior type mon. I, ha I definitely haven't seen that. I'll have to look it up later on. That is not within my knowledge. This might actually nearly be ready to go. Oh yeah, that's ready to go. I don't want it to be, I don't want it to go much further than that. Okay, I'm gonna let that cool a little bit and I'll put it all in together. We need a bowl. Bowl. What are we making today? Sally Mead, hello, we were going to be making um, apple crumble tartlets, but we're just going to make one big apple crumble because I couldn't get the pastry right for the tartlets, which is very embarrassing for me, but look, it do be like that sometimes. Roses are red, violets are blue. They say it don't be like it is, but it do. Oh, it do. <laughs> ah. Pepper and Bunny, hello, Blowhouse is not currently available in my vicinity and I'm waiting. Yeah, they're, they're sold out again everywhere. There's always fairly big demand for them, do you know? Are there any games you wish you could experience for the first time all over again? Skyrim. Celeste. Super Mario Galaxy. One. There's, I know there's something else in my brain as well. Breath of the Wild actually as well would be in there. Definitely Breath of the Wild. I haven't, I really want to play Outer Wilds at some point. It's it's one I'm afraid to play on stream because I, I know that a lot of people can spoil it. And apparently like if it gets spoiled for you, that's that's it, like it's spoiled. And I, I do not want anything spoiled for me, but I'll get around to it. I might, I'll play it someday. One of these fine days. Right, we're making the crumble topping. So lads, take notes, so you're writing this down. For the crumble, we need 125 grams of Odlum's cream plain flour, 125 grams of butter at, oh no, room temperature. Oh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. It literally doesn't matter, Grant. We need 125 grams of demerara sugar and 175 grams of porridge oats. I'm gonna measure out the porridge oats first and we just bring them all, we, we, we literally just bring them all together. We just bring them all together. We put the, actually we put the butter and you know I'll do the butter and flour first. Fine, fine. I'll do the butter and flour first. Lemon and crime. Thank you so much for twenty three months. Hello, how are you doing? Holy moly, how's things? Cake, it's too fast. You're right into right down. Baking block suitable for baking. Suitable for shallow frying. Go 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 go. Okay, let me. We need one hundred twenty five grams of this. One hundred twenty five grams of our butter. We rub it all together and then we throw everything in it on top. Bees burger. One hundred twenty five grams. Freud says, guess who just got passed to affiliate? Ah, congrats, Freud! Ah, that's brilliant! Fair play to you. It's no small feat. That's no small feat at all. That's brilliant news. Holy moly. Lads, we love to see it. And Pichu Krill, oh my goodness, thank you so much for subscribing. It's, you, you're, lads, you're, th you're too good to me today. My ego will be... My ego's gonna start existing. <laughs> Seriously, thank you, lads. You're very good. I might get away with the butter not being as room temperature if I just... If I just mess around with it a little bit and just, you know, just give an L slap, it'll be fine. It'll be grand. And just cut it up into little bits and throw it in there. It'll be grand. It'll be grand. Oh, Flailaboo, hello. How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. I'm actually going to separate... Sorry, I'm blocking Dave. He won't, he won't thank me for that, but this has to be done this way. 23. 52. 77. 
did anybody else, particularly anybody who is not from the States, you know when you see a depiction of American football, did anyone else think they were just shouting random numbers? Cake is afraid of Pokemon standing up because they will have the ability to T-pose and Cake will be powerless to stop them from asserting their dominance. Jacob Fly, you can't give the game away! People aren't supposed to know! <laughs> Thank you for the bits. But people aren't supposed to know! Because I always thought when I would see like American football and cartoons, I thought they would just, I thought it was just random numbers, like because it's funny. Like they'd be there and they'd have the ball and they'd be like, 72, 84, 512, let's go! And they'd be like, that doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> Google Ekans T posing, but Ekans doesn't have arms. Um, Ark says I'm from the States. I think they're just shouting random numbers. That makes me feel a little better, I have to say. That that does make me feel a little less like a silly fool. 74, that'll do. That's close enough. Good, um, thank you, Plain Splatoon 3. Oh, lads, hands in the air. Who's playing Splatoon 3 today? Oh, you know, it's clearing up very nice outside. Very good, very good, very good. Oh. Bro, oh, no, I'm going to have to Google Ekans T-posing now, aren't I? Okay, Ekans T-posing... No, not to put some... <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what I expected. This is Ekans T posing. I, I don't know what I expected. Wait, you give me an idea. Are we getting distracted? Yes. Goose tea posing. Now your day is better. Or maybe worse, if there's a goose in your vicinity, I might be giving them ideas. I might be giving them... Wait. Oh no, wait, they don't have arms. No, we're safe. We're safe, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Give me one second, I just need to... There we go. I'm gonna pop this back over here. And oh, we have a shark close up as well. Hang on, you give me one second. I have everything weighed out, so I can just throw that in there, put that aside, wash me hands. We can't have any butter getting on shark because then he would be covered in butter. That's no way to live. That's no way to live being a shark. Mm -mm. Nobody wants to be covered in butter. Now, I know there's uh, probably going to be one person who's going to say, actually, I'd love to be covered in butter. No, you wouldn't. We don't want to know about it. <laughs> That's your own private business, all right? It's your own private business. All right, let's bring, let's bring him. Here he comes. Here he comes. What, what number are we on? Oh, we're nearly there. Leah, thank you so much for 15 months. Hello. <laughs> Didn't forget about anything. No, you're grand. Hello, how are you doing? Here he is. If you've never had a shark close-up before, today's your lucky day. Here he is. He is here to see you. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you, because he can see you. And you might believe that he can see you, but it's true. Actually, lads, what? What are we on there? What are we on there? Three, five, four, lads, are we gonna, are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? I think... I think we're gonna do it. Unfortunately, I can't see it from all the way over there, so I'm gonna have to wait, Witchy. Seven, seven, three, I need to see who gets it. Eight, five, eight, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's going fast. Oh, it's going fast. Oh, it's, oh, it's going so speedy. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to scroll down when it happens. Oh, it's, it's going, it's happening, it's really there. Llama Dragon! Llama Dragon, congratulations! You are the... Give it up for Llama Dragon! Sixty-nine thousand four hundred and twenty hugs. Woo! Did we ever think we'd see the day? Uh, maybe, but not for a while. Dun, 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 dun.
It's the day, it's happened. Everybody make a wish. Everybody make a wish. Everybody make a wish, quick. Make a wish. Tuned in on the right, you did. Today's the day and it only happens once. It only happens one time. One time. Llama Dragon, how do you feel? You feeling good? You feeling excited? It's the day. It happened. You did. Ooh, sorry, Shirk. There we go. Happened today. Not tomorrow. Not yesterday. Today. And today only. Oh, goodness. I got 69419 in my own hug shark redeem. I mean, you know what? You get the running up, the, the running up prize. The runner up prize. The running up prize, you get to run up a hill and come back down again and tell us what the view is like. But, um, wish my area keys would stop some blowhide for once. You'll have your chance. You will. Biggest highlight of my day. Give it up for Llama Dragon. Ah! Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Now I need to do this. I need to melt the butter with my hands. Run up a hill, Stranger Things flashbacks. I, I haven't watched Stranger Things since season one. Let me tell you a very funny thing about um, Stranger Things. A very funny, th a funny thing, just while I think about it. So there's been something, no, I don't know anything of the plot and don't, don't say it in chat because like, I, I don't want it to be spoiled for anyone else, but I don't mind, I, I don't know if I'm gonna watch it. Um, but there's something about the Hellfire Club. The Hellfire Club is in Wicklow. It's like a place in the Wicklow Mountains, I'm pretty sure. Or it's like nearby. Like, it's a place. It's a real place. So when I started hearing people, like, talking about it and seeing people wearing Hellfire Club t-shirts, not knowing it was really Stranger Things, I was like, are they selling merch now? Are they selling merch for the Hellfire Club? I was very confused. Very, very confused. Holy moly. I'm going to have to leave stream for a while. On oh, Nixie Sticks, your grand. Go get yourself a rest and we will see you when we see you. All right, look after your good self. Do. Look after yourself. All right. I've got to break up this butter with my hands. I reckon I'm watching it. I might get back around because I watched the first series and I, qu I quite enjoyed it. And I watched it all in one sitting, which is probably why I watched it all. Like, I, I, I'm going to like that. I, I have to sit down and really get myself in the humor to watch something all at once. But I enjoyed it, you know? It's in, oh, sorry, it's in the Dublin mountains. Irish Cancer Society, how are you doing? Sorry, I, I always, I mix up that whole, that whole bit of stuff. I didn't realize it was closer again. How are you doing? By the way, hello, how's things? Are you well? And Timberwood, hello, how's things? Come in, come in, come in. Um, Ewan says, I thought the Hellfire Club was a new band. I've seen all the t-shirts. They do look like kind of band t-shirts. They're nice design, to be fair. They're pretty cool. Um, if I take a break watching something, I never finish it. That's it. If you take a break, unless it's like coming out week by week, that, that's it. I just forget it exists. Briz says, E. Thank you for your wisdom. And Big Jesus, hello. How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. I thought it was like Antisocial Social Club for a while. Oh my goodness. I I feel like I haven't seen an Antisocial Social Club print piece of clothing in years. That's how it goes, I suppose. That's how it, it's how it go. That's how it go. Ronoko, hello. Hello, how are you doing? And Yonster, ah. How are you doing? Hello. Hey, do you guys think the queen had any special rocks? I'm hungry. No? Bad time? It's not like she's using them. <laughs> oh, dear. No, I'm still lovely to see you as always. How are you doing? Are you well? Okay, I, I got that. I probably should have had this a little more room temperature. But look, if I, if I do this for long enough, it'll become room temperature. And it'll be fine, you know? You know, it'd be grand. Don't eat the rocks, put them back. Sleepy Robin Lou, you never see a member of the Antisocial Social Club because they're all staying at home, you know what? I hadn't thought about it that way, but now that you say it, it makes perfect sense. And the new laptop's up and running for school. Oh yes, my last one carried me to start secondary school a whole seven years ago, and so hopefully this one can carry me through uni. I hope so. I hope so. Oh goodness. That's it's so so nice to get a, a new bit of New bit of technology, get it all set up, get yourself ready to go, you know? Summary says, here's a random useless fact. The man who invented Hawaiian pizza was a Greek-Canadian. Yeah, the more you know, the more you know. Every day's a learning day. I feel like I did hear that before, I just hadn't committed it to memory. 
Twisted Wizard, hello and thank you for the bits. How are you Hello doing? Cake. The two percent Irish in me is very happy today. Hooray! <laughs> I hope you're having a very good one on this day today. The reason the two percent Irish is happy, just in case anyone doesn't know, is Splatoon 3 is out today. And of course, you know, we, 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 we love a good competitive video game in this country, you know? We love a bit of Splatoon. Kirsten C, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Okay, this is, this is, oh yeah, this is, this is looking good. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good, to be honest, I'm, I'm vibing. Especially now that we're, we're making something that I can make properly. Did you know that one end of a pencil is pointy and the other is rubbery? Have you seen the price of erasers these days? Daylight rubbery. I love the small colourful circles cake. Are you using them? I'm still hungry. Hey, look, I'm not using them, so you can you can have a little nibble, but you have to give them the back. Or you can replace them later, you know? Cheerful Prophet, hello! How are you keeping on this Friday? On this day today? Why do I even come here, Pigeon? You choose to every time I'm live. <laughs> Alright, this is some room temperature butter in here, so I, I'm, I'm destroyed in this. So I'm going to just melt it off my hands with a good bit of hot water. No, now the tap is covered in butter. <laughs> there is no peace to be known. No peace to be known here. All right, all right, melting off. Get it, get it out of here. Out, 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 out. Off, off, away, away. Okay, now we need 125 grams of porridge oats. I am just going to slap this up here and throw it all in. I'm pretty sure that'll do. Should it be illegal to put pineapple on pizza? No, I'm, in fact, I would lobby for more pineapple on pizza. I would put twice as much on. Do you know how skimpy they are with pineapple these days? No good, lads. No good. Right, uh, sugar and oats mixed together, grand. Okay, so we'll do that all in one. I'll get the demerara sugar. I specifically got demerara sugar for today because the last few times I made crumble, I think I've only made crumble once or twice on stream. I had to, I had to be, you know, I had to use the normal sugar. And the plumber cool. walks into Kate's kitchen. Home, yes, I see the problem. Your sink has the case of the butters. That will be 10,000 euro, please. I don't want butters. I don't want, <laughs> just a case of the butters. Oh no. Oh, nobody wants that. There's the skitters. Thank you for the bits as well, Neomster. Thank you very much. The Wild Neo, hello. And Mighty Banana, hello. I love the shirt. <laughs> the stream seems super cozy. Calvin's about to try and prove us wrong here. Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill Nye, the science guy. Science rules Bill Nye, the science guy. Inertia is a property of matter, Bill. Bill, 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 Nye, the science guy. Bill, 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 Pi minus 10 seconds. Bill, 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 Nye, the science guy. Normally I would cut in halfway through that, but I I couldn't interrupt that. That was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> wonder if he likes science. I wonder if that's his, his, his sort of thing, you know? My most vivid memory of the Bill Nye, the Science Guy theme, is playing it in a rhythm game. All right, 125... Oh, it smells so nice. Here, have a sniff. A little sniff. It smells like sugar. 125 grams <clears throat> of sugar. Beats Aaron. No, Osu, which I've long given up. I'm reformed. I cannot physically play that game anymore. Not that I'm repulsed or anything, I, I physically can't. Like, I, I hurt my arms really, really bad from playing it. Also, I... I, I am repulsed. <laughs> oh, and 125 grams of this. Oh no, I can still do the cup song to this. No, I'm not gonna do it. I, I need to I need to make some moves on making this crumble. I'm not doing the cup song to Heart Home City. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. 125 grams of oats. Oats. 
I'm so tempted. Like I can, I think I can, I think I can remember the little, I don't have a cup. No, I don't remember it. I don't remember it. I actually cannot remember it. It's been too long. That was, that was like a year ago. I think I did that. That's been, it's been a while. The cup's on with flowers, just like full thing of flowers. Oh no, did you ever see that clip? I don't know. I don't know her name, but it was this one, she was streaming, and she was chatting about something. She was just like, she was sitting back like comfortable chatting and she picks up like a little bottle of like, it was like a fruit juice or like a, a smoothie or something. And she goes to shake it and the lid is off. And it's the kind of thing where I was like, surely this is staged, but the absolute fear, they just like the, everywhere, rest in peace. All right, let's actually get this done. You've been cooking for a few hours. Uh, not quite. We, we had a few hiccups in the middle, which is why we're not very far through the process at all. We've had to... We've had to change the recipe a little bit, but that's that's on me. That's on me. But you know what? We're going to get there, and that's what's important. That is what matters. Aculine, hello! How are you doing? Come in, come in. Are you well? I can't bear the fact we'll have to look at our money now. Oh, it's a lot to take in, lads. It's a lot to take in. Um, I start my first day of college on Monday. Do you have any advice? If your college has societies, join them. It's a really good way to make friends outside your course because it can, like, sometimes you just don't mesh with people. You just don't, like, not that they're bad. You sometimes just don't get on the, with people on your course. Like, or you mightn't be friends, friends, just like, you know, you see each other in class or whatever. So join societies. Don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be afraid to, like, join societies and stuff you're only, like, a little interested in. If the, if the idea is in your brain, just go for it. Be not afraid. And PBVT, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. I might have to just do this by hand. I really don't want to, but I, I need to. I never understood people can go through four years of college and never join a club or society. If I had not joined a society in college, I don't think I ever would have spoken to anybody. Like, I'm not joking. Like, I, I wouldn't know most of the people that I know. I would never have met Madara. Would, never. I wouldn't have met loads of people. I, I would never have met Acula. I would never have met RT. Like, there's so many people I never would have gotten to know if I hadn't joined a, a club or a society in college. Do it. Do it. If you have the chance to, if your college has a good selection of them, do it. And it doesn't have to be something that's, like, directly related to your course if you can't find something that. You can do something just something you're interested in. It can be something for fun as well, you know? Astron Cot, hello! Um, the baking is going slower than we had originally planned, but we are, ow, we're getting there, and that's what's important, we're getting there. How are you doing yourself? I hope you're enjoying your lurk. What did you take in college? I did early and modern Irish, so I, I majored in, like, medieval Irish, and that was, um, I was a lot of, like, old manuscripts, history, all that kind of stuff, the language as well. It was really interesting, and, like, obviously I haven't done anything with it other than give you cool facts every now and then, but I do not regret doing because I didn't know what I wanted to do. And for anyone who's going to like their final year of secondary school or high school or whatever, if you don't know what to do in college, but you feel you absolutely have to go for whatever reason, like first of all, I don't think anyone should feel the pressure to go to college, but if you feel like there, you have to do something, do something you enjoy, because at least then it won't be a miserable couple of years, you know? Do something you really enjoy, do you know? I joined a few, but unfortunately messed up the club I'm in this meeting. We haven't met this year much. Oh, gosh, look, things happen, things happen. It's been a messy few years for societies as well, I imagine, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, I was a serial club joiner, I think I went to three actual meetings the whole time. That's in the way. Um, Staff of Small Dogs is the most accepting group I've ever met was my college circus society. There was a circ... Ow, I keep doing that. I'm okay. There was a circus society in my college and I, I never went, but I, a, I have friend, a couple of friends who went and apparently they're just a lovely crowd, like just a really nice bunch of people. Oh, Akila, were you in the circus society? You were juggling. Oh my goodness, yes. Very good. They just seemed like a nice bunch, you know? I think we have way more crumble here than we need. How bad? Opposite of a problem. We can do a big, thick layer of crumble and we'll have no trouble at all at all. Right, I'm going to move things. We're moving things. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, class clown level two. Like, that's it. That's where you go to commit to being the class clown, you know? Okay, I need to preheat the oven to 190. Actually, wait, is that the fan? It doesn't say. I'll do 190 because this doesn't heat up properly anyway, so it's fine. It's fine. It'll all even out in the end. That is on.
What did Jeff do? What did Jeff do? What, what did Jeff do? What did I miss? What did he do? What did I miss? What did I miss? What happened? You existed. Well, that could be anything. Jeff existing could be anything from hello, how are you, to... Actually, I don't really know where I was going with that. There's something going on here. That's all I know. <laughs> right, we need to get the pastry out of the, the dough, the, the bits and bobs. Oh, I put it next to the soju bottle to keep it cold. And it worked. It's very cold. Very, very cold. Get in there. The tin is bent. Before you... Wait, the... With a ball pin? Hammer? What? I'm not hammering that. It's not bent, it's got character. It's got character, it's different. Oh, we have to roll this out now. What? If there was anything I could skip in the baking process of literally anything on this earth, it would be rolling out pastry to fit in a tin. Because I'll always manage to roll it a little bit wrong. Like, you know, it's always going to be weird. You always... You trim around the edge and then it's still not right, you know. We're gonna we're gonna do this. I no longer possess fear in my body. Tin as straight as I am, we're we're all in good company today. Daniel Philpot, hello! Uh, it's my birthday on Sunday. I'm turning 20! Oh, can we get a an early happy birthday for Daniel Philpot? I hope you have a lovely one. A very, very lovely one. And it's lovely to see you as always. Hope you're keeping well. Alright, 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 we can do this, we can do this. We need to make it big and roundy big and roundy all the mo oh, oh what's that what's that what's that i hear Ooh, is that the sound of moderator appreciation because i know you know the mods love being praised oh they the, it's their oh! <laughs> ah! all right jeff has put you into baby jail so i want to see you groove i want to see your best dancing emotes I want to see you go. <laughs> oh, lads. What would we do if we didn't have the mess in, huh? Jeff Good Mod Real. Oh, Zerg and Dragon said it. Yeah, that's how you know it's real. That's how you know it's real. It's a moderator approved one. It's not even me just messing, even though I am telling the truth. Zerg and Dragon said it. You heard it here. Jo <laughs> Jordy, thank you for gifting us some to pet the mods. Pet the mods. Now. What are you going to do about that, huh? Huh? <gasps> Jedi band pet the mods, no! Oh no, that's it. It's carnage out here today. I don't know what I'll do with you. Please, please fit, please fit, please fit. It, it sort of fits. Oh, I've nearly got, wait, 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 no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no. Wait now, wait now, wait now, wait now, wait, wait, we need more over this side, bring it over, bring it over, bring it over, Ooh, got it, we need more over this side. Bring it over. Get, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in, get in, get in. Perfect. When I say perfect, I mean not perfect at all. But it's going to be lovely, and that's what matters. I'm going to trim it around the edge in a second. I'm going to I'm going to let it go around the edge a little bit, just so it doesn't get too weird. Now I'm thinking, should we keep this simple? If we're changing the recipe at all, we might as well commit to changing it. Should we put something else in with the stewed apple? Because I'm thinking like a tiny, just a little tip of cinnamon would go straight. Like a tiny little bit of cinnamon and a tiny little bit of nutmeg I think could be really nice in here. But I'm, no, I'm not putting in beans now, Mr. Now don't be silly. Don't be silly. No, no, can't do that. We couldn't do that. I think I'm gonna, like just a little bit. Now it might end up being too small. Cinnamon, apple, and maybe, a, I think there's still a thing of nutmeg up here. It is definitely in date, TM. Definitely. Actually, there is a recipe I need to get off an old housemate of mine 
It's apple, oh my goodness, what was it? Apple crumble cheesecake bars. And, oh my god, they were so good. Where's the Sim Nim Nim? Oh, here it is. No, there's nothing in there. That's, that's empty. Where's the Sim Nim Nim? That's coriander, we don't know how to put that in there. We have cinnamon sticks. Oh, here it is, Sim Nim Nim. Sim Nim Nim. Um, Shiva, Kaida, hello, saw the blog on my starting page, I had to check out the stream. Oh, welcome in, hello, this is Oscar. You can give him a hug for free, exclamation mark, hug shark. You can. Sim Nim Nim. This, I think I might have stewed these a little too much. I'm gonna test them, not test them, taste them. I don't know where any of my words have gone today, but they're not where I need them to be, I can tell you that much. There we go, right. For any new friends as well, because we do have a lot of new people here, if you'd like to join us over on Discord, or if you'd like to give me a follow on Twitter, I'm almost to 4,000 followers on Twitter, and I know it is a made-up internet number, but like, you know, that's it's kind of cool. That's kind of cool, you know, if you, if you want, no pressure, no pressure. Disposable, thank you so much for your prime. You're very kind, I thank you so much. You're three good to me. You're four good to me, in fact. Oh, it smells so nice. Smell it. Ow. So, smell the Sim Nim Nim. Sim Nim Nim. No, don't get it up your nose, you'll be sick. Oh, God, so nice. It just smells like autumn. Sim Nim Nim. Sim -nim, Nim Nim. I need to take the lid off. I don't like the little sprinkly lid they put on these. Ow. Now, I've had a run in with a cinnamon thing before. Do you remember the time I was trying to get cinnamon out of a thing and the spoon got stuck inside and broke off? Not this time. I'm ready. Quarter teaspoon. I could probably just put in a half teaspoon. Good level half teaspoon. Don't snort cinnamon. No, you will actually get horrifically sick. Please don't snort cinnamon. The cinnamon challenge is dead and gone. Don't, don't do it. Don't be making yourself sick. Don't be making yourself sick. You will end up in hospital and it will not be fun. There will be no good memories made. I really hope this isn't too much cinnamon. You know, the devil's pinching me to put the microphone closer to the stewed apple. But you know what, I think I might, I might spare you today. Are you ready to be upset? I would like to present to you the sounds of stewed apple. Hate that. Hate that. <laughs> Mom, I want to go home! <laughs> Hate that. Hate that. Never want to hear that again. I think I could live the rest of my life very comfortably never hearing that again. Ever. I'm gonna put tiny, tiny little bits of noise to be sure. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of nutmeg in. Nutmeg smells terrible, but it tastes really nice. I don't know how this works, but it just does. It just kind of does. It sounds like crackling fire for me. Oh my goodness, do you ever put on the, you know, the 10 hours crackling fireplace videos? I'm, I'm, I'm gone, like I'm asleep in five seconds. I'm gonna put in like a, like not even a quarter teaspoon of this, like a tiny little, tiny little bit. Purple, purple, no! I'm watching you. I'm watching you, buddy. <laughs> Jessica, we're doing well. How are you keeping yourself? Come in, come in. We're especially doing well considering we had this. We're especially doing well considering we had to not start the recipe from scratch. We had to take a different direction. I haven't tasted this yet. I probably should have done that a minute ago. Thank you for the bits. That's oh, too... No, it's... I'm sorry. I'm... Um... Oh, I'm so sorry, lads. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to dispose of this into my own stomach. I'm actually, I'm gonna get a big spoon to do this. Make me life easier. A little easier. 
I'm not, no, I'm not telling you nothing yet. I'm not telling you how nice it is or how not nice it is. Sure, that's giving the game away. I can't do that before we're done. Rare the Unicorn, hello, we are doing well. How are you keeping yourself? Come in, come in. Are you doing well? Zero Mush Bones' cake, I made a chocolate cake celebration for getting into college. It's the best cake I've ever made, yes! Oh, that is just the cherry on top, really. It just, oh, I'm so delighted for you. Four gays in a trench coat, all four of you. How are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. I'd say we're even, we could, oh, actually, no, it's grand. There's gonna be so much room for crumble. So much room for crumble. It's gonna be great. Oh, beautiful. Lads, I hope my Dara still isn't stuck in, 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 the, in the office. I hope he got out. <laughs> I'm slightly upset today, but I'll be fine. Apparently I'm not allowed to have an unpopular opinion in a different chat. Sometimes it's best just sit back and relax on Twitch. Sit back, take it easy. Here, do you wanna lick the spoon? You want the spoon? Yum. There you go. There's magically still things left on it, you know? Magically. <laughs> oh, you may- I might be going camping on my own this weekend. Don't know how I'm gonna get there, but... <laughs> uh, I'm sure- I'm sure he's okay. And if he's not okay... Uh, I don't know if I can go rescue him, to tell you the truth. Oh, dear. Do 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 All right, this is fairly solid. So I'm gonna crumble the crumble. Funny that. I'm gonna crumble the crumble over the top of this, and I'll trim the edges. And once the oh, it's already to temperature. That was very fast. I'll pop that in. That'll be grand. Oh, good news for four geese. Um, I finally passed my practical driving test today. It took four attempts, but I'm so glad to be able to drive myself now. Yes! Give it up for four geese in a trench coat. Oh my goodness! I bet they didn't even clock you were there. Oh no, that's brilliant. Seriously, all a mess inside. I'm delighted for you. Oh, we love to see it, lads. We love to see it. It's something I have to get around to myself as well soon, but we, we love to see it. <laughs> oh no, the Omster! I am once again asking for a single bean in the buy. In return, you can have the colorful circles back in one to two bow movements. That's grand. I, I'll just buy some new ones. Uh, you, you hold on to those. You hold on to those, the Omster. <laughs> there is... I, I, I've talked about this YouTube poop before, but... um. There's a Lord of the Rings YouTube poop that someone made years years ago. Like, it's maybe 12 years old at this point, but it's not on YouTube anymore. I think someone else re-uploads it. But at the very, very end, you know the bit in The Fellowship of the Ring where they're leaving the Shire, and Sam is like, is like, if I take one more step, it's the furthest from home I've ever been. You know that bit? But they've edited it so that Sam goes, if I take one more step, it'll be the furthest step. If I take one more bean, <laughs> and any time... Anytime someone says like one bean or one more bean, it just makes me think of that and I just lose my mind. It'll be the furthest step. <laughs> no! Frodo, someone at the dough. Keep your nose out of trouble and no one will come to you. Woo. It is one of the best YouTube poops made and I will die on this hill. I will gladly die on this hill. I've made way too much crumble. Should I keep piling the crumble on? We'll see what happens. What could possibly go wrong? It's all just gonna get kind of melty and buttery anyway. Oh, your TTS message hasn't played. What a scam. Jeff, thank you for the bits though. I thank you very much. More crumble. We're just gonna keep adding more. I love the crumble topping. It's it's just so good. So, so good. I love when YouTube boobs do the woo, woo, woo. I I do miss sus being a YouTube poop thing when someone's just talking they're like sus. <laughs> oh god, <They're laughs> this is the wow the wow the wow the wow forged by the Dark Lord sus, but sus was defeated. <laughs> I can't lose it. I, I'm losing it. I can't handle it. Okay, I think that's probably enough crumble. Like, we're, we're... Ah, no, 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 I could fit more. There it is, Jeff. There it is. You've no longer been scammed. Frodo, who's at the do? Someone at the do. <laughs> Sass. Pingus. <laughs> I love, like, YouTube poop just... It forged so much of my humor. Like, it really did. 
and I don't regret it. Like, it's so silly. It's so stupid, but that's exactly what I, I love. I love silly humor, you know, just absolute messing. It's like, oh my goodness, there's one, you know the episode of Spongebob where they're going, they're trying to get into the salty spittoon. Um, there's one bit. <laughs> you know where your man goes in, it's like, oh, I had a bowl of nails for breakfast. And your man's like, yeah, so with no milk. He's like, oh, right this way. In the, in the, the horror coaster YouTube poop, I think it's called Bifidus Regularis or something like that. Uh... <laughs> He just goes up and it's like, I had a bowl of nails for breakfast. He's like, oh yeah, milk. <laughs> I don't know why. That just absolutely sends me. It's just a deadpan milk. Oh God, it doesn't take much to make me laugh. I'm going to be honest, but I don't care. I'm happy to be this way. <laughs> we'll watch it in Discord sometime. I, I unfortunately can't show it to you on stream, but I, I will show you in Discord. We are going to do a YouTube poop run in Discord someday for all the stuff that I, I don't feel confident enough to show on stream, just for, you know, copyright stuff. <gasps> good news from Steve's Tom Fuguri. good and bad. Bad news, I can't tune in often to a change in my work schedule. Good thing is I no longer have problems sleeping because of that change. Yes, and Friday's off. Oh, Steve, I'm delighted for you. That is very good. That's, that's on the whole very, very good. I'm delighted for you. I hope it works out long term as well. Ah, we love to see it. We love to see it. All right, all right, don't be, my tap is giving me lip again. Now, I need the knife. The knife! I'm gonna get a different knife, because I don't know where the other knife is. I got a kniff. A kniff. There's a one funny, funny parador, parody, parador, parody of Lord of the Rings I watched, but I can't remember what it was called. Um, it's all, all I remember is when they're arguing about taking the ring, Frodo stands up, he's like, I will cook. I don't think I know that one. I don't think I, I know that one at all at all. I'm gonna sit down to do this. My back is really sore. Taylor, hello! He he is. You can give him a hug if you'd like. Exclamation mark hug shark. Free and easy. Stop that. Free and easy. And big huss, hello! Hello, hello, hello. Um, I'm sorry for anyone looking for the recipe. I've had to kind of freestyle this into one big tart because <laughs> the the original plan went a bit sideways, but you know what? It's all gonna work out okay. It's all gonna be grand. It's all be G. My phone just asked me if I wanted to turn on extreme battery saver. It just, it just switches off. You say yes and it, it, that's it. It goes to sleep. Can I have a little, a little moment to be a, a boomer and not complain about something, just reminisce over something very silly. I really wish you could still have an alarm go off if your phone is switched off. Because I used to always set an alarm and switch off my phone instantly so that I wouldn't be, you know, just so the battery wouldn't go down and so I wouldn't be distracted by it or whatever. And once I got a smartphone, I realized I couldn't do that anymore. Like, I'm, I kind of missed that. Maybe I should just buy an alarm clock. <laughs> I should just buy an alarm clock and be done with it. All right. All right, I think I'm fairly happy with the amount. This is more crumble than apple at this stage. <laughs> oh goodness, but I do not mind. Extreme factory saver would just be a Commodore 64 command prompt. Oh my God. All right, this is it. This is it. Feast your eyes. Aye, on the crumble. Humble. E, C, <laughs> sorry, look at it. Look at it, it's going in the oven. It's going in. In the oven, and, and, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's going in. Actually, I'm gonna put a little pattern around the edge because I don't want it to look, I want it to look kind of nice, you know? Just a little nice. Old Sony Ericsson Tech. Actually, I did have a little, you know, this, the flip, the flip phone, the Sony Ericsson, the, the Walkman one. <laughs> So good. I love that phone. I miss it sometimes. Not all of the time, but sometimes I miss it. Some phones have the feature I'd a phone that would switch itself on if an alarm was set. That's like that's, that's clever. I like that. And I, I miss that. Although I did have an LG phone at one point. And it was a nice little phone until it wasn't when it stopped working out of nowhere. Um there was one day where I had set an alarm and it had been it had been letting my alarms go off while it was switched off, as I would always expect phones to. This was like 
2010, 2011. Like, I didn't expect anything different of it. And um, one day it just didn't go off and I missed school. I woke up at like midday. <laughs> My alarm just didn't, didn't go off at all. So, hooray. All right, we're going. It's going in. In you go, buddy. Hey, Google, set a 10 minute timer because I need to turn it halfway because that's how it is. All right, 10 uh. minutes and that's starting now. Nice. Do you mind if I take two minutes just to whirlwind around here, throw everything in the dishwasher and I can leave you with some bopping tunes? Is that okay for you? Two minutes. Two minutes. Two of them. I don't know why I'm still holding my hand up though. You can't see me anymore. <laughs> Two minutes, I will leave you some bop. Don't leave us! I'd give it. I'll give you a minute. Give me a minute. I'll get you. You know what? You can have the banging tune that you had earlier on. I think you enjoy that. All right. I am going to run an ad as well just to disable pre rolls for people. So give me two minutes and I will be back. Be good or else. Or else. All right, one, two, one, two, one, two. We're back, hello, hello, we're here. Are we here, are we present? Are we all together? Yes, we are, hello, hello. Look at this, clean table, clean table. Did it, I did it, I forgot to put this in, don't worry about it. Actually, I'm gonna use this to stab it. Oh, Miss Slinky Diva, hello, how are you doing? I need me cup of tea, my tea is cold, so I'm gonna make another fresh cup in a couple of minutes, but soon. Partially alive, ain't it the way? Ain't it the way? 
Oh, me back. I feel like I need someone to just take my spine and just go and then put it back together. Don't snap your, don't, don't snap your spine. Don't, don't actually do that. It's not very good for you. Love the hair. Thank you. Everyone's been so nice about my hair. Thank you so much. I, I don't even remember how long I've had this for. Like, is, has it been two weeks? Has it been a month? I have no notion of when I did this because um, time goes by so quickly. I need to be cracked by a glow, like a glow stick. Not everyone. Well, Jeff, you always have to keep me humble. <laughs> Baffle Toast, hello, how are you doing? Oh, you're in Brooklyn, Scotland. Very nice. You're not too far away at all at all. I can be mean about it if you're like, please, no! <laughs> Don't destroy. Don't destroy me like this. Oh, good, good. Goodness gracious tonight. Ah, that's better. Now we wait. Now we wait. We sit and we vibe. <gasps> real Queen Stoneheart! Why did I say real Queen's? Oh, sorry, I met, I read the username of the person above you. I was like, wait, that doesn't sound right. Queen Stoneheart, how are you doing? Hello, hello. I had to pop off now, so I hope the, I see the end result on Discord Pony Book Room. You will. I know I'm terrible at remembering to take photos, but I will actually take a photo of this. I will. I will. Um, Rowan says it was the Genshin stream. I think that was the first we saw. Oh my goodness, yes, it was. Four, four weeks ago already. That was so fast. You want someone to shrink me down and wrap me around their wrist like a snap bracelet. Hopefully that will fix my spine. It, it'll fix it or it'll break it forever, you know? One of the two. Rogzan says, cook bean. That's it, you're not getting any now. No, that's, that's, not, not, mm, mm, mm. Mm -mm, not that attitude. Nickster, how are you doing? Hello, hello, I'm very weird, hello. Um, Jer Andrew says, new to this bacon stream, why is there a shark eating beans? I don't see any beans. I don't see any beans. I don't see any. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -mm. Not a clue. Not a clue. It's okay, they haven't noticed yet. We're fine, we're safe. The people aren't as fanatic about them anymore, so they won't mind if they stay gone forever. <laughs> Are you right there, OMG, it's cake. You all right? We won't, don't want to upset the shark. Oh. He's only minding them because it's his job, you know? He, he was asked to. He was asked to mind them. Oh my goodness gracious tonight. Has anybody else baked anything nice today? I usually ask you and I actually forgot to today. Please put the beans back. What's the magic word? What's the magic word? Abracadabra. No, it's actually Abracadabra, but nice try. <laughs> Does Abracadabra still exist? <gasps> Zarya Dragon got it right. Fair play to you. Good job. Is Abracadabra still open in places? Sorry, I need to mute and just sniffle for a second. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I'm glad you didn't hear that. That was disgusting. Does Abracadabra still exist? Does any, anyone here know Abracadabra? It's a chain of questionable, very questionable food. It's the kind of food that you, I was gonna say you only really willingly eat when you're drunk, but that's, that's not even, that's not even true. That's not even true. It, it's, it's pretty rough. I'm trying to think, does it still exist or did I just kind of imagine it? DeAndre, thank you so much for 21 months. Time has numed by, like it's, it, it's numed by, it really, really has. So Taco Bell, Oh my god, you Abracababra is is the Irish Taco Bell. I'm pretty sure it's Irish anyway, now that I think of it. I need the watchdogs that I need to cook firm tofu today. Any tips or recipe recommendations? No, but it's something I want to cook soon. Soon, soon. Um oh! I knew I had a thing to tell you. Let me tell you a thing. So um, I keep mentioning that I want to try and out a two-camera setup for the Fridays so that I can fry things, boil things, stew things, do whatever over there, and you can actually see what's happening instead of just seeing my back. Sorry, I have to cough again. All right, I'm good that time. Um, but I keep humming and hawing about it and I keep not getting around to it, but I have a lend of a GoPro. No, only a lend. It's only a lend. And I need to get a, a cam link or a capture card or something for it. 
you'll always be able to see Shark, even if he's only very little. It will do like a picture in picture and I can swap back and forth between them. And I'll make sure it's not too overwhelming. Like, my ideal, my ideal idea is that I press a little button and we go from like this to like, the whole screen is looking down, probably at an angle, the way I have to put it, onto the hobs or the, the stove top, whatever you want to call it, onto the, the burners. And then there's like a little picture in picture, like here, like yay big, the size of Kanata there, but like maybe down low. So you can still see me moving around, you can still see Shark, you can still see Dave, you can see the whole lot, but the main focus is on the food. And I think it could work. I gotta turn this. Hey Google! Hey, Google! Hey Google! Set a timer for 12 minutes and set one for everybody watching as well. Sure, a 12 minute timer called everybody watching as well. <laughs> Starting now. It'll do. It'll do. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's it. Oh my room, yes, you will still see the beans. You will. But yeah, I, I think I wanna do because I want I wanna make like curries, soups, stews, I wanna do other things. I, I wanna make more and I feel like obviously I can do them now, but I don't like I don't like when I have to spend a whole stream just like over here at my back to you. Like it doesn't it doesn't feel as fun, you know, and I can't I could technically move the camera around, but that's just so much effort, you know, I'd have to be bringing it all over the place. No good. No good. But yeah, that's that's the plan. Google says Abercrombie has 20 stores and looks way better than my local kebab place. I don't think I've ever had a kebab from Abercrombie, but I did have taco fries once and I think that's the way I I think me having taco fries from Abercrombie at the age of 10 is the reason I am the way I am. No, they they're just maybe it's gotten better, but it's it's something. It's something. Portable stove. See, I wouldn't mind a portable stove, but I don't want to bring it close to Shark. You know, he's you know, I I, I want to keep the heat away from this this poor Misfortune and we do we really want Dave to be anywhere near fire? Would you put this bird near fire knowing what we know? No, me neither. Me neither. Taco fries. Do you not have taco chip? Um, so <laughs> I don't actually think taco sauce has anything to do with tacos in Ireland But um, you would get a taco chip and you get it with taco sauce and I don't really know how to explain taco sauce, but it's quite nice. Like it's a, it's a nice like mild flavor, not really at all related to tacos. I didn't even know what tacos were, that they were like a different thing until I was much older. I always thought it was just the sauce that you put on things, you know, you know, we need to release this true potential. No, no, it's too much. We can't handle it. It's too much. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. Ah, oh, sip my soap. I need to try kebab. The only kebab I've ever had is from an Irish chipper. And the kebab you get from a chipper is a very different, it's a different food. It's not the same. It's an entirely different thing. And I, I want to find somewhere in Dublin where I can have a kebab, like a nice one. Um, Andrew says, I Taco Bell in England last week it was actually very good and way better than the US. Oh, I nearly had Taco Bell um, the last time I was in, Actually, I think it was when I was in Manchester. There's one in Glasgow, I think, as well. But it was when I was in Manchester, I was very tempted. I think it was. Maybe I'm mixing up there all of my things. Happy Chef TV! Hello! Welcome in! Hello, hello, hello. Can we get a wave of welcome for everyone coming in in the raid? Hello! Our food is in the oven and you're coming in and we're having a nice chat about kebabs, actually. Hello! Oh, we got Bridget's wall. Hello! Oh, wait, wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I'm Newman back up. Let's see who we got. Barley Bry, hello, and happy chef yourself. Hello, how's things? How was your stream? Beef stew. Oh my, oh, I'm so jealous. Oh my, who here appreciates stew? Just a, 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 just a big owl stew. Oh my goodness, I love stew so much. I'm so excited that it's nearly stew weather. It's so close, it's so close. How did it turn out? What did you put in it? Because I'm always curious to know what people put in their different stews, and I promise I'm not being rude. I have to, I have to put on our next thing of music. But I hope you had a nice, a nice stream. How did it go? Did you have a good old time? Stew, season, stew, season. Hey, hey, lamb stew and dumplings is S tier. Oh, it's been, oh, it's been so long. I don't know if I've ever made stew with dumplings, but I'd like to. Pee wee, how are you doing? Hello, and Kickatrix, hello from the Netherlands, and hello from Ireland. How are you doing? Was a really easy one today, though. Oh, very nice. 
Oh, very nice. I love when you just put together a stew and it's, it's just simple, you know, it's not too complicated. It just, just hits the spot, you know, just hits the spot. Gang of Ireland says, I don't like stew weather. Oh, I love stew weather. I love when it just gets cool enough that you can, you can just, you can get a big shepherd's pie, cottage pie, and you, you, ju you just ate the whole thing, like gone two minutes. Oh, it's so good. Oh. Well, lads, if you do like beef stew and all things adjacent, check out Happy Chef TV. We I love seeing other food and drink streamers as well. It, it gets you so excited. So, so excited. Oh my goodness. I thought your bunny phone stand was a giant wine cup. Ah, uh, yes, let me just take a, a warm, a, a warm sip of wine. No, room temperature, yes, maybe it's red, but let me just sip my... I'm gonna put this over here, kind of out of out of there. Oh goodness, I like when it's warm, not too hot, not too cold, but also like winter. See, I like winter because I like all the food you can eat when it's cold. And like, obviously I'll still, I'll still eat the food in the summer. It's just not as nice, you know? Giga Trick says my favorite comfort food, lasagna with chestnut, mushroom, spinach, and goats. I love goat's cheese. Yes, that sounds so nice. That sounds so, so nice. Um, too kind, darling, I love to do it already for six years. Yes, I'm a veteran, a veteran. I've not been streaming food and drink for very long compared to that. It's been two and a half years, I think. About two and a half years, and it's been great fun. Great fun. I mostly bake, but I, I was actually only saying before you came in, I want to branch out and like make soups and stews and curries and all sorts of things. And for that, hopefully soon, second camera over there. Soon, soon, fingers crossed. Evil Shadow, hello, I have the exact same bunny phone stand. Yes, the e-girl phone stand. It was, it, it had to be done. Had to be done, it's beautiful, it's handy. This is a duo stream, who's with you on the table? This, for everyone coming in, this is Shark. His name is Oscar, but you can call him Shark. He, he won't hold against you. And you can give him a hug, exclamation mark, hug Shark. He is our, he's our moral support. <laughs> and this is Dave. Dave is a tiny little Ikea Robin. He is our immoral support. And they are here, they are our, support all the time. Oh, happy chef. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Thank you so much for subscribing. That's so kind of you. Ah, you guys, you guys. Zarga Dragon says, I am the out moron support. <laughs> hey, look, you need the moron support as well. You know, it, it brings the whole thing together. You know? <laughs> Mrs. Kilted, hello, belated happy chef raid. Hello, welcome in, welcome in. Everyone who came in with the happy chef raid. Thank you so much for coming in and I hope you had a nice time with the happy chef. I hope so. He's the shark of the stream. He is too. And um, Dave looks like Fletchling. He kind of does. I think Fletchling is based on an American Robin. Now, he's a European Robin. Don't, don't, don't let him hear you say that. <laughs> All right, you know what? This has gone stone cold. We're making a fresh cup of tea because this will be ready soon. I want to try it while it's still warm, you know? While it's still warm and toasty. Hands in the air. Who would like a cup of tea? Hands in the air. If you don't have your hand in your in the air, you're not gonna cup of tea. I can't. I can't help. It can't be helped. I can only make tea for so many people. Why not? Oh yes, we we're talking about kebabs. That's it. Um, so kebabs in Ireland. I was only saying. Um, if you get a kebab from a chipper, it's entirely different. It now it's nice, and it's it's exactly what it's supposed to be. It doesn't try to be anything. It's not. But it is a different experience by far, by far, by far, by far. Sorry, give me one second. Hey lads, do you want to be my B-reel? I'm not at all joking, do you want to be my B-reel again? I keep getting these when I'm on stream. <laughs> Literally like the last couple, I've all gotten them on stream. All right, everybody say hello. Thank you. All right, we can put our tunes back on now. Now. Tunes back on. There we go. I always get those when I'm on stream. Like, I, I, I'd say 80% of the time I get them when I'm on stream. Nothing better than waking up in the morning with doner kebab mixed <laughs> stuck to your face after a session. Honestly, like, that'll, that'll, it'll either cure you or it'll finish you off. <laughs> Oh, goodness. 
I need to crunch, sorry. But yeah, what, what's even in a kebab? I mean like an Irish kebab from the chipper. You get your bread, you get a load of like lettucey bits, you get a little bit of meat and it's full of sauce. And to be honest, it's not bad. It's not the same. It's a completely different food stuff to a, a real kebab, but it's pretty good, you know, for what it is. Um, debating buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Oh, do it, do it, do it. Buffalo chicken mac and cheese, do it. Um, Miss Slinky Diva says, I'm, is a vegetarian, is it? Oh, what's your favorite food? Speaking of, another thing I want to try, and I'm not sure how long it takes to make. Hey Google, set a five minute timer. Second timer for five oh wait, minutes. hang on, which is which? Which is now. which? Hey Google, how long is left on my timers? You have two timers. Yes, I do. The 12 minute mm -hmm. timer called, everybody watching as well, is running with two minutes and 19 seconds remaining and the five minute timer is running with five minutes. Perfect, deadly, fantastic. Fantastic. You said not my Google, sorry. <laughs> And Zargon says, I go out for a whole day, do a ton of stuff, get back home, sit down at my desk, and there goes Be Real. Always! It, it makes you look like you never leave the house. It makes... My Be Real makes me look like I do not do anything except stream. <laughs> like, I always... The, so many of them in the last, like, two weeks in particular, I've gotten them at, like, ten past six, or, like, now. <laughs> Matbo, hello! I'm just sat here instantly lurking while working on my Google Sets timer. Sorry. <laughs> it's just... It is the risk of being here. And Jockman, thank you. This kitchen looks much bigger, much bigger on camera. And Zargon Dragon can attest to that. It's not as big as it looks. It's good. It's a nice kitchen. I like it, but it's not as big as it looks. It's magic camera. The camera is all the way over there. It's like right up against the wall. Oh, I'm confused on what Be Real is. Oh, it's, a, it's an app where um, you can add your friends and stuff and it prompts you to take a picture at a certain time of day and takes a picture like with both your cameras and it's just a bit of mess and like it, it doesn't st well i hope it doesn't store i don't i don't really know but i only have people that i know very well added on it but it's a bit of crack you know a bit of crack uh, it's not tiny but yeah it's not as big as it looks you know um baggered fish hello what's their name this is oscar say hello to oscar have you heard of pulled mushrooms as a vegetarian, vegetarian alternative to pulled pork? I haven't, but I have heard of pulled jackfruit and I would love to try cooking jackfruit because I I had jackfruit once and it was really, really nice. Like it was like, you'd know it wasn't pork, but it literally doesn't matter because it's so nice. You, you'd never be sitting there like, <laughs> no, it's so good. Like you wouldn't even care. Like it's so gorgeous. And that is the business. That's the business. If anyone ever finds themselves in Dublin and they want to eat something quick and healthy doesn't matter quick and vegetarian and mostly vegan as well that gives you that kind of that scratches that itch there's a place called vegan sandwich company there's a few of them around the city and oh my god like they're so good they're so so nice like absolutely gorgeous tiny a tiny bit pricier than like some places but like it is really good like it's worth it i see the shark close if you give me one second they give this another little turn Hey Google, set a six minute timer. Second timer for six minutes, starting now. Ink the Red has redeemed a close up of shark. If you've never had a shark close up before, here he is. Here he is. And he has something very important to say to you. He love you, and you are good, and you are worth it. And he hopes you're looking after yourself, and drinking your water, and eating enough food, cause it's important. You gotta be looking after yourself. You have, that's for the last time, you can't be having coffee on an empty stomach. He can see you having coffee on an empty stomach. You know who you are. You know who you are. That's no way to treat yourself. You gotta be eating your food. You gotta be putting some padding in your stomach before you have your coffee. You'd be sick. You'd be sick! Now, you've been told. You gotta look after yourself. No, no, you don't have to go fast. You don't have to go fast. No, no, calm down, calm down. It's just music. It's okay. Whew. And there's on the front page and you're featured. Is that a blah? Yes, it is, Fruit Bowls! Yes, it is, and welcome in. How are you doing? His name is Oscar, and you can give him a hug if you'd like. Exclamation mark. Hug Shark. Here he is. Here's the boy.
Oh, sorry, I don't know what happened there. I blacked out. Wait, which timer was that? That's this, that's this. Who's that? Unholy Zoe! Ah, thank you for two months of your prime! I'm so proud to be a sub to your channel, okay? Keep doing what you do, because you make me laugh with your rhymes! Ah! You're too good. You're too nice to me. You're too nice to me. The apple cakes look amazing. We're actually only making one big one, because I, I made a little a little boo-boo with the the recipe, that's what it's called. Not a big one, like, it's gonna taste fine. It, it's just, I, I messed up with the, the making the small bits. You know, I think I might need English lessons. I feel like I didn't pick it up properly in school. I think I need to start over. I can pronounce- Oh, Sika! Sika, thank you for letting me know. I wasn't sure if it was a, a soft C or a hard C, and now we know. Might need what? English lessons. Hiberno English now, mind you, but... Ah, that's better. Have you eaten something? Yes, I had... I had some brown bread with... Um, <laughs> You know those little sandwich spread things you get in Lidl? I got one of those and I just destroyed the brown bread and it was an effort. I actually kind of- I might have like a small snack before we have the pie. Or I can wait. You know what? No. I'm gonna have a small snack for the sake of my brain. We're having brown bread. Just like one little bit- one little cut of brown bread. And some jam. I think it'll do us the world of good. Uh, I just devoured some melon. Oh, I, I, I still don't know if I've had melon or not. And I know that sounds probably very silly, but I, I genuinely don't know if I've had it. Who wants some brown bread? I'll see what jam we have left. Lewix, hello, you are still time for the pie. We were set back a little bit time-wise because I'm a fool, but it's okay. It's all good. And Jim Man, hello. Why is this not... Something is stopping this from closing properly. I don't know what it is. Oh, got it. All good. Is it seeded bread? It's, um... Oh, it's a pretty good world seed, actually. <laughs> it is whole wheat bread. Oh, let me show you. It's the good stuff. We can have a little bit while we're waiting. Um, Cyclic says, I only like white bread, the over overpriced sauce stuff. This... This is my favourite bread. It is just... It is... Look at... Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look, there's this is there's fine eating in bread like this. Like you feel like you've eaten something if you eat this bread. It's just it's so good. It's my favorite. It's so Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Love it. Love it. Gonna have a little bit with a little bit of jam just to tide me over until we can taste that. It looks a bit like German rye bread. It does look like rye bread actually. It's it tastes different. I I it's not rye at all, but it's it's very nice. Very nice. And Jeff says, once I switched over to wheat, it's almost impossible to go back to white in America. So ridiculously sweet. So I've heard. I've heard that um, just standard white bread in America is very, very sweet, which is mad to me. Like, like don't get me wrong. Like, some of our white bread can be a little sweet, but, like, not, not, not that much. Bread is supposed to be neutral. You should be able to make it sweet or savory, you know? All right, let's see how this is doing. I want a good bit of color on the top of this. Sometimes I'm afraid of burning things and I don't let them in for long enough. <gasps> All right, let's see. Don't burn me, don't burn me, don't burn me. I'm gonna give this another, like, five minutes. It's a thick layer of crumble. Hey, Google, set a five minute timer and we'll eat our bread. Okay, five minutes, and that's starting now. Now. Remember not to feel guilty about eating white bread. If you want nutrition, your sandwich bread shouldn't be the first place you look for it. That's it, like, don't feel bad about eating white bread, like, if I, just because I'm eating the whole wheat. I eat this because it tastes nice. If there was no nutritional value in this, I would still eat it. <laughs> like, don't, don't be feeling weird about that at all at all. Do not be feeling weird about it for even a minute. Oh my god. Let me show you this. Let me, here, here. Here, here. I'm coming over. Here comes the airplane. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we got strawberry jam. We have real butter. I think it's Kerrygold we have. And bread. I mean, there we go. 
Beautiful. Oh my god. This is the fourth slice of this bread I've had today. And it's so nice. Okay, no, I'm so allergic. Sorry, Caroline. Okay, Caroline, you give your bit back. You give it to someone else. Mm. Oh my god, so good. It's so good. I'm sorry, Caroline. I do keep trying to poison you with strawberries. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm. Bread. Bread. Um, Sika says, oh, you loving the vibes here? Keep it up. Thank you. I love, I love a bit of messing. Twitch has a filter so the allergens don't get through. We're really living in the future, lads. Right? Ah, that's it. I don't know if I'm vibing with this mix. I think I'm going to put on this one. Absolutely not. I'm not downloading nothing. You can't tell me what to do. I'm not listening to your ads. Leave me alone. Go away. Absolutely not. No. The cheek. <laughs> Dr. Bamboo, hello. Beans, indeed. There they are. Wahoo. Got, Got my, my Twitch, Twitch updated, updated with, with possums. possums. With, with possums? Abby Stabby, thank you for the bits. With, with po I'm going to need some context on this. Hang on. Context? Um, Cyclic says, don't want to get too political, but how's Brexit been treating you from the UK and myself? Um, being in Ireland, to be honest, the only thing, it's been annoying for a lot of people who work out of Ireland with people in the UK. Like, that's that's a very, very common thing, because, you know, we're, we're next door to each other. But a big thing has been that if you order something from the UK to Ireland, you get customs fees. And it's, it's something, it's something. Now it's the same for people in the UK as well, like over there. If someone in the UK, I'm pretty sure, orders something from outside the UK, within Europe, you get customs fees. I actually pay custom fees on something this morning. Not from the UK, from somewhere else. And I, I absolutely got ripped off, but look at, look at. We know that's something to laugh at. I mean, we, we, we can laugh at ourselves all day though, I'll tell you something. We're not getting into that though. But yeah, it's, it's been, it's been annoying. A lot of things are still okay, but it's it's been it's been annoying. And Sika, thank you so much for the bits. I thank you very very much. Um, Andy says, how do you like your Earl Grey? I boiled my tea water with orange peel and then added Earl Grey sugar and milk. Andy, you are having fancier Earl Grey than I've ever had in my life. That sounds gorgeous. I haven't had Earl Grey in ages, but I I normally just have it with like a tiny little bit of milk. Sometimes I'll put in sugar. It depends on the humor I'm in. I used to take it black with a sugar and a half when I was younger because I. I went through a phase of drinking loads and loads of Earl Grey when I was like 15 because I'd read the manga Rose and Maiden so I started I started drinking Darjeeling tea and then I moved on to Earl Grey later. Oh Psyquix, thank you so much for your prime. That's very kind of you. And thank you very much. It's three really good to me that's today. You're spoiling me. Spoiling me. And um, Cake, have you heard this game called Cozy Grove? I have. I saw a lot of people playing it um, a couple of months ago or actually it could be longer ago at this stage but I've not I've not watched it for long enough to know what it's about because I, I've kind of had it in the back of my head thinking, oh, I might play it. Don't want to be spoiled. Ha. Ah. Bread. Mm. <laughs> the goods. <gasps> Lady Faust, hello! How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. How's things? Are you well? Um. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> All right, now I've eaten. On Holy Zoe says, Kate, how was TwitchCon? Oh my goodness, I... I'll tell you how TwitchCon was. It was great. It doesn't be... It feels like last year, and it also feels like last week. Like, it... it, it... Oh, give me one second. Hold that thought about TwitchCon. Give me, give me a second. I just gotta take this out here. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna burn it. I'm gonna give it another three minutes. I need everybody to trust me on this. Hey, Google, set a timer for three minutes. You need to trust me. I'm getting a good bit of color on this. It'll be All worth right. it. All right, three minutes, starting now. It'll be worth it. TwitchCon was great. I was so overwhelmed. Like, I was so, so overwhelmed. I was there standing in the partner lounge. I was like, I, I'm an imposter. I'm not supposed to be here. 
so like, like genuinely i was like oh. but it was really fun we did our little meetup as well and we did meet up outside of twitch cons because there was a couple of people around toy balbo actually organized it and there was a lot of people who didn't have tickets but who were around or like from the netherlands and just like living local who could come see and it was it was really nice it was such a sweet time and everyone was nice everyone was really really nice and i was very overwhelmed and i was exhausted on the sunday but i i do not regret it and i as much as I'm like, mm, I don't know about going to Paris. I'm probably, I'll probably go to Paris as well next year. I probably will. I probably will. Ilan, hello. How are you doing? Are you well? Did Dan go? Yeah, a, a load of people went. Um, yeah, a, a ton of people went. Um, met Queen Rowett for the first time, which is great. Queen Rowett's lovely. And Tara and a bit of stream and, and there's a whole gang of us. It was a really, really nice time. It was lovely. And Aculine as well. And Dan. And Two Shoes. And like loads of other people that I can't even remember off the top of my head right now. And Hedge and Pumpkin Amy and Sir Hannah. Loads of people. Tons, millions of people. It was a lovely time. It was really, really good fun. And Johansson single handedly bet myself and McDara 1v2 at Foosball. So, you know, it was a good time. <laughs> oh dear. Cake, I can promise you that pretty much everyone in TwitchCon partner and felt like imposters. I, I did have that moment where McDara was telling me this. He's like, look, everyone feels like that. I was like, okay, okay. I had a moment, I was like, okay, okay. That makes me feel a little better. A little better. <laughs> no, it was a lovely time. It was really, really good fun. And it's kind of given me the convention bug again. Like, not 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 in a sick way, but like, um, it makes me want to go to events again. Because I love, I just love the buzz and the excitement and the atmosphere. It's just so much fun, you know? It was so much fun, and I, I really miss it. I'm so sick and still I didn't get a chance to go to DCC. I just, no, I say chance. I just completely forgot to get a ticket, but I, I don't know, I just like it. I know they're, they're sweaty and weird and, you know, it's a lot, but great crack, you know? So much fun! <laughs> Lady Fels says, my, my insulated water bottle is still full of ice. That was filled yesterday at 6 p.m. Where'd you get an insulated water bottle? I, I need to get in on this. I don't have, I, I, I do have an insulated water bottle. I don't know if it's insulated. Excuse me, insulated that well. Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm happy. I've had my bread. Um, Rowan says, I'm really hoping to make it to TwitchCon next year, especially if those folks in the community will be there. I really hope plenty of people can make it. Like, I, I feel like Paris is not quite as accessible, unless you're, you know, in France, I guess. But, you know, I, I would like to go no matter what because it was it was just lovely and it'd be nice to see everyone. Okay, that's it. I'm calling it this time. I'm calling it this time. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god, that looks so nice. It could probably even do it. No, no, I'm not putting it back in because the the crust will start to shrink more. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave there. You can stay there. I'm gonna leave there. What time is the Queer Foodie stream? That is gonna be 7 p.m. So it's gonna be, oh my goodness, it's two hours from now. So I'll be Newman out of here into the other place. Uh, into my stream room to get ready for that soon. Soon, soon, soon. It, it doesn't really need to rest. I just don't want to cut into it when it's like boiling hot, like super, super hot. But yeah. Mouse Pouse, thank you so much for continuing your gift sub. You're too good. You're all too good. We have so many new friends here as well. I'm just going to drop all the links to all the places again. If you'd like to join us over in Discord, you're very welcome to come in. Just make sure you read the rules and you're welcome to come in. If, you ever, if you're subscribed, sorry, I forgot my words there. If you are subscribed, make sure your Twitch and Discord accounts are linked together. You can get into behind the scenes areas, our Minecraft server and our film nights, which are great fun. And I'm at almost 4,000 followers on Twitter, which is, yes, a ma imaginary made up number on the internet but it's cool and it means i get to expose more people to my messing and shit posting and carrying on <laughs> oh mother cruel out here i see no no they're just they're just on the ball they they don't miss a trick they don't mi i see they, they don't miss a trick <laughs> we're not numbers cake we're people you are people you know what i mean you know what I, mean? I don't like to obsess over it but it's it's cool it's it's fun it's been messing <laughs> vanya i saw that I saw that on you. I'm watching you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give it a few minutes and we're gonna bring it over. I 
I'm going to get the tunes ready. Actually, do you know what? Do you know what we could do? Do you know what we could do? Do you know what we could do today? On this day today? On the day today that is today where we have it today on this day today. Okay, I've got that there ready. Today. Moderator appreciation for just a moment because you're all very good and I would not be able to do this without you, it's true. Also, our sole goal for this month is to do a Jackbox stream with the moderators, which we did a small snippet of one at the end of the last charity stream. And unfortunately, we couldn't. I couldn't get Discord set up properly. That was on me. So it was only for maybe an hour, was it even an hour and a half? I don't even know if it was that long. But we get to do a full one. That's our sub goal. That's our bit of messing for the month. All right. I bumped it up a little just because it's September. If we don't hit it, we'll do something else. It's not the, oh my goodness, no, I left a bit of apple on the ground. Yay! All good, all good, all good. No! Lewix! Lewix, thank you for getting 10 subs. Oh my god! Ah! I want to see some good eggs. Lewix, oh my god, thank you so much. Ah! Sorry, I need, I need a moment. I need a moment. I just gotta. Thank you. Thank you. I feel better. <laughs> thank you, oh my god. Ah! Oh, what's your favorite f film? Was it? Uh, what's your favorite movie? Lord of the Rings trilogy. Hands down. Don't know if there would be, ever be a better film for me. Extended edition, if possible. Oh, Lewis, you're too good. All right, are we ready? It's almost time. I cannot hold that yet. I'm gonna have to hold it with a tea towel, and I'm a little afraid to, but I'll, I'll grab a tea towel from the, the designated tea towel pile. The pile of tea towel. Are you ready to see it? Are you ready to see the crumble? I'm gonna take the bread out of the way because the bread is not the focus anymore. The bread was the focus for a few minutes, but not anymore. I'm gonna take the butter away because we don't need that. I'm gonna put this over here. And I'm gonna put this over here. And I'm gonna put myself over here. Are we ready? Purple Marple, thank you so much for six months. I thank you very much. <laughs> we heard me hitting the sub button here. Oh, you guys, you're too good to me. Thank you. I'm gonna hide it on, I'm gonna hide it for a minute. Ooh, 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 ooh. it is hidden. It, imagine if I dropped it. I, I think I'd actually cry. Oh baby, a triple here just in time. Are you ready? It is time. Are you ready? Here it comes. Ooh. Oh, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Behold, the one big crumble. One crumble to rule them all. <laughs> Behold, the beauty, the fantastic, crunchy goodness. Actually, it shouldn't be that crunchy, a little crunchy. A little what is that? What? What's happening over there? What's happening over there? I'll get over in a second. Behold! Oh, this is getting very warm. It's getting very, very warm. I need, I need to come back. I need to go. Wait, 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 wait. Vanya! Oh my God! Thank you for gifting twenty. Thank you. Oh my God! I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. I need to get something to put this on so it's not sitting sideways. I want to see a big wave of good eggs for everybody. You're, you're three generous lads, seriously, you're. Thank you. And of course, you know, hitting the sub goal, that's great crack and everything, but thank you for, thank you for supporting me and letting me to, con letting me continue do this, TM. I can, I can speak English good. Behold. You're three good to me lads, seriously. Okay, I'm gonna have to let this cool for like five or 10 minutes before I cut it. Because it is very hot. It's very, very hot. It's spicy, spicy. Huh. You're too good to me. I'm, I'm, I'm spoiled. I'm spoiled. Now, while we're waiting for this to cool down, you know what we can do? 
We can do a taste test prediction. So we're not going to acknowledge the fact that this is not what we set out to make. Um, when we set out to bake something today, we're going to make several small ones of these, but that's okay. That's all right. Here we are. We have this. We're going to judge this on whether or not it's nice. I'm new around here. Do you only bake or do you ever cook? I want to cook more. I want to do stews. Hang on, I was going to start. Stews, pies, curries. I want to do loads of stuff, but I'm trying to get set up with a second camera so that I can actually spend time over making stuff on the hob and not have to have my back to you the whole time, you know? Because that, that's no good. She can't see what's going on then. If I'm standing over here, stirring, 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 she, you, you don't know, I could be doing anything over there, you know? <laughs> I didn't even notice the dish was different to the one announced. It's entirely different, but it does look very good. It does look pretty good, I would say. I would say. I'm actually gonna try and get a picture of it. I'm gonna get a little picture, give me one second. It's really hard to get pictures of things on this table because the, the table is always so close to the color of whatever I've baked. I'll get a proper picture then once it's actually cut open. That sounds kind of gruesome. I don't really like a gruesome noise. Miss the vote. Oh no, the, 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 the thingy bob, the prediction. Sorry, I really cannot find any of my worst day. The prediction should still be ongoing as we speak. As we speak. Right, music back on, there we go. There we go. Oh, I was make I was gonna make tartlets, but I, I couldn't get the pastry. There was something weird up with the pastry and I couldn't get it to sit properly to make the little tarts. So I was like, you know what? We'll just make big boy, big boy. Oh, girl, hello. Um, hi Cake and fellow shark appreciators. Just finished watching Breaking Bad. It's one of my, it's one if, of my two most favorite shows I've ever watched. Is it that good? Because I never got around to watching it. I don't know if it's my kind of thing now, mind you, but I might give it a go sometime. I might give it a go. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's really nice to find a TV show or like a series of anything that you can just, you can just completely lose yourself to it for like a week, two weeks kind of thing. Oh, excuse me. I haven't had that with something in a while. I think the last time I, I think the last time I sat down and like watched all of something was the last season of The Witcher. I really enjoy The Witcher, it's very, very good. I must read the books at some stage. McDara's read the books, he said they're very good. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Oh, hiccups. Does anyone have a spare kidney? I ordered the iPhone 14 Pro earlier today. No, I'm broke. Oh, Sika. It might be worth it. If it's good, it might be worth it. I kind of want to, I'm not going to do it. I want to pick off a little, like, buttery, sugary, oaty bit on the top, and I'm not going to do it. I'm so tempted. I always want to. I'm not going to do it. That's how I do it. Airhorn sounds like I'm in the process of reading the books. I like them a lot. I really want to give it a go, um, especially since I've been I've been using my Kindle again, but I, I, I could pick them off, like, physical. I don't really mind too much. Mm, not, mm, I'm going to have to sit in my hands. I can't. I just really want to pick off a little bit of the pie and eat it. I'm not going to do it. Almonds on the top. I actually don't have any almonds, and I, I do like almonds, but I don't know if I'd put them with this. And that, that's just personal preference. Like, I would eat them both separate, but... I really want to try making pecan pie because I I really like pecans. They're really, really nice, but I don't know where to get just like, you know, straightforward, no extra stuff pecans. I don't know where to get them. And put some truffles on it, Cap. I'll, you know what? I'll just go get the truffles out of the, out of the, out of the, the... If I had truffles, listen to me. If I had truffles in this house. <laughs> Oh goodness, um, I like Bakewell tarts with almonds on top. Oh, I like Bakewells with al almonds, I would I would always go for, because they are a bit almondy to begin with, do you know? I don't know why I'm doing this as almond flavor, almond flavor. <laughs> Temptation to sprinkle cinnamon. I'd be so tempted, the only reason I wouldn't sprinkle cinnamon, 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 is because I'd be afraid I put on too much and make it mank. Because you can overdo it with cinnamon. Smim, cinnamon. 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 Raging Taco, hello, how are you doing? Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Simnimnimnim. Simnimnim. You have to grab stuff on Amazon. I was actually going to say, maybe I can get it on Amazon. I wouldn't generally get food off of Amazon, though. It, it feels it feels illegal. <laughs> it feels weird. I feel like I'd probably... I could have a look in Nutty Delights. I know they usually have, like... They, they usually have things, like, roasted in XYZ. I just want the straightforward carry-on, because I, I want to make lots of nice and nice things. Lots and lots of nice things going into deep autumn, you know? 
I want to make all of those things. The, I want to make all of the food that you see in a traditional like autumn platter from like whatever part of the states it is, where all the where they have the perfect like autumn for Halloween. You get all the crunchy leaves, and they have the little. You know, I, I don't think it's actually really like that, maybe, but you know, you know what I'm on about. You know what I'm on about. I don't know what I'm on about. I'm really desperate to try this. Amazon Fresh is really good. I've ordered stuff from that in absolute pinch. I don't know if we have that here is the only thing. And I mean, look, I'll probably find it in town, to be honest. Oh, that's hot, hot. That's hot, hot. <gasps> Ray Ray's gone all in on the points. Mm. I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to get this out of the tin. Aww. Felt a bit like a, a stardew ghost. I'm going to put my ring back on, actually, because I... Otherwise, I'll forget to put it back on until, like, three hours from now, and I'll be very confused. Too hot, too spicy. Hot, hot. What's your necklace? It's a oh, it's it's tangled. Hang on, give me a second. Give me a second. It's it's tangled. Hang on, I have messed up. I have made this worse. There we go. Got it. It's a necklace that McDara got me um, for he, our two-year anniversary. It's a little leaf. It's a little it's a little raspberry leaf. It's very cute. Very very cute. Can you do a cook with me pot noodle edition? I would like to do noodles at some stage. We could make noodles. We could. I don't see why not. Is cinnamon phenomenon an anemone, anemone anomaly a tongue twister? Absolutely yes, because it twisted my tongue. <laughs> tell you that. All right, I'm gonna do it, lads. I'm gonna cut into it because I I do need to. I can't. Much as I'd like to stay here all evening, I do need to go and get myself ready for the other stream I'm doing this evening, which is it's gonna be so much fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Can we get a shout out for? for gaming panels, which is where you're gonna find me in... just under two hours. All right, I'm gonna, oh, I need, I need, I need a fork. All I do on Fridays is use every piece of cutlery in the house and then wonder where all the cutlery is gone. All right, it's time. Oh, the stream, yes, I'm in, I'm going to be on a queer foodies panel. So it's going to be myself and a couple of other food and drink streamers. It's hosted by Donna Tart, the one, the one, the only, <laughs> nearly wrecked the place. We get a shout out for Don Tart while we're at it, who is an amazing Irish drag streamer who does food and drink and video games too, a bit of everything. But it's it's gonna be really good fun. I'm really I'm really excited. Oh, I'm so excited. It'll be great crack. I'm gonna cut into this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I might just cut it down the middle and then cut a slice so I don't mess it up too much. Well, I've already messed it up. Let's go. I'm committed to messing this up now. So the thing with crumble is I suppose you don't really do a slice of crumble. I suppose you can with this because I gave it- I gave it the base! What am I talking about? I gave it the base. I'm gonna cut it in half. Alpha Productions, thank you so much for 13 months. How are you doing? Hangovers in Ireland. Oh, and, and all this weekend as well. I'll tell you that much. All this weekend. How are you doing? Lovely to see you. And thank you for sticking around. Has the nerd gotten out of the office yet? I haven't heard from him, so I'm, I want to assume that he has gotten out. Otherwise, I, I would maybe have gotten a message being like, hey, um, I'm stuck. I'm calling the guards, but... I hope he's gotten out. I hope he's, hope he's free. Um, do you play Pokemon Go or any Pokemon main series games? I do, but not on stream. I, I really like Pokemon, but I've, I've not really played them on stream, because I... I don't know, they've always been a game that I've kept for myself. <laughs> that that sounds weird when I say it out loud, but I'm just kind of like that with it, but that might change. I might play um, Pokemon Scarlet when I get it. I might. I might play it off on stream. I'll see how I'm feeling. Like, it'll all be down to the humour I'm in when I get it and how I'm feeling, you know? Because I know it'll probably be a weekend stream as well, which I don't tend to do very often. Um... Oh, that's good. Please, please don't fall apart. Please don't fall apart. Please, please don't fall apart. It's falling apart. It's falling apart. It's falling apart. Oh, do you know, actually, the pastry looks okay. I'm just gonna dig out the rest of this. Ha <laughs> ha. I think I might have overstewed the apple a little bit, but I'm not saying that until I try taste it. Okay. Now, by nature, crumble is a messy thing. So it doesn't really matter too much. So have a look at this crumble. Crumble is supposed to be messy. It's why it's so easy to put together, which is why it's taken us this long to make it. Look at that. Messy boy. And I'm gonna eat it. And I'm gonna tell you what I think of it. And I'll tell you the truth, the whole truth. And only 
the truth. It would be good with some custard, actually. I don't think we have any custard. I, if I had more patience, I'd make some custard, but I don't have the patience to make any. All right. All right. <clears throat> I got a fresh cup of tea. I'm ready. I'm gonna try it. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. I have to finish it. I have to make sure it's not poison. It could be poison. And you know, we wouldn't know yet. The poison could be in that bit. Mm hmm. Mm. It could be. It could be. It could well be. Do you want the last bit? Here, quick, take it. Here, have the last bit. Now this could be the poison bit, so be careful, okay? Here. Mm. Hmm. Okay. So let me run through it with you. And I'll be honest. So last week, we made the lemon bars, right? And I was like, oh, I wish there was, I, they're really good, but I wish there was a little more of this, a little less of that, but they're still really good. Today we made something different. Well, we made the same thing, we just made it in a different format, you know? We made apple crumble in a different font. I would not change a single thing about that. That's beautiful. Not to pat myself on the own on my own back or anything, but that is that 
that's love. I have, there's nothing I can think of that I would change. Literally nothing. And I haven't had that with something in a while because even when I've had things that I really like, I'm like, mm, you know, I'd maybe add this, I'd take that out. No, I would not change a single thing. That's so nice. Eat it all. Don't, listen, don't tempt me. Don't tempt me because it won't take much time to. <laughs> Not to teach your own horn, but bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. That is, that's really nice. That is, just, hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just tidy up the inside a little bit. So, you know, I have to, I have to take a few bits. The poison bits, you know? I'm just gonna take a quick, uh, is McDermott still in prison? I haven't heard from him. So there's a chance he is still in prison. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I hope he's not still in prison. Oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. The goods. The goods. Oh my god, that's so nice. It's really, really nice. Here, do you want to see the cross section? Now, it, it's kind of hard to um, see any of the bits individually, but look, that's part of the beauty of crumble. It all kind of crumbles in together. Oh no, I'm, get, I'm getting oily. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to retouch up my makeup before I go on for later on. Behold! The cross section, look at that. Look at that! I cannot tell you how crunchy the bits on top are. Gotcha. Oh, it's so good! I'm so happy with it. Like I, this is the happiest I've been with something in ages. Like, really, really good. So, so good. Would not change a thing. Wouldn't change a thing. So good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. If anybody is trying the recipe out, please know that the recipe is for the little the little tartlets, like the individual ones. Now, please, if you make the individual ones, let me know how you get on. And let me know how you got. No, I do not want an ad. Go away, leave me alone. Um, please let me know how you managed to get the, the pastry right. Um, Sika says, what's your weirdest food combination that actually works? For me, it's good quality vanilla ice cream with virgin, extra virgin olive oil and sea salt flakes. Hmm. I don't know if I have a particularly unusual food combination. I feel like all I have to do here is mention crisp sandwiches and people, and people start falling and fainting in the street, but... <laughs> I actually can't think of anything. No, there probably is something. It's probably something I have all the time, but nothing I can think of off the top of my head. Crisp sandwiches are so good. Like they're they're magical. They're so good. They they just scratch an itch that not a lot of food can can get. You know, probably owing to them being crispy or whatever. But French fries says most of Brazilian cuisine is unusual combination that ends up working. I really want to try more Brazilian food. There are so many places. There's so many Brazilian restaurants in Dublin, and I haven't tried any of them, and I feel like I'm missing out because they all the food always looks good. Always looks so so good. Like there, there was a place I used to walk past when I'd be on my lunch in my old job and they had like this big poster of like, just like, I don't even know what was in it, just like a big pastel and I was like, I don't know what's in that, but I, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> I wanna eat it. <laughs> oh goodness, do try with amazing food even though it often looks bla it's blasphemy. No, no, I, I don't judge. I won't judge. No judgment. I'll eat it. I don't care. <laughs> I'll eat it. <laughs> Lads, thank you so much for coming along today. For anyone who stayed around after the front page, thank you also as well too, also as well as. <laughs> this has been really, really nice. You've been a nice crowd. You've been a very nice crowd. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the me fumbling around for several hours making this crumble, which should really take like an hour. But we got there. We got there and that's what matters. <laughs> for anybody new, let me link you to all of the links, all of the places. Ta -ding! If you're not already in the Discord, please get on over there if you, well, please, if you want to. <laughs> Make sure you read the rules, get in, we'd love to have you. Give me a follow over on Twitter if you want to keep up with me there. I'm nearly at 4,000 followers. <coughs> Bit of crack. And you can keep up with all my shit posting. I also have been posting to TikTok and to YouTube as well. I have YouTube highlights if you want to check them out. Hey, I'm going to see, now I'm going to have to turn off the music for just a second. I need to see who I can leave you in the care of on this day. Whomst be on the line on the day today, on this day today, where we be online today. Hmm. 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 Where will I leave you? Do you know what? I think I know where we're going.
I think I know where we're going. How do we feel about going over to Positive Party Friday? What is he doing? What? He's up to something. All right, I'm going to leave you in the care of Two Shoes, who is having Positive Party Friday. Pee-pee Friday. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, as this has been so much fun. Thank you so much again to everyone who came along today. Everyone who stayed around after the front page, you've been lovely. I will see you again on Monday. We're probably gonna, I'm either gonna play GeoGuessr or more Cult of the Lamb. I'll see how I'm feeling on the day. This is why I don't make schedules in advance. <laughs> But until then, I'll see you a little bit in Discord. I'm going to be away the weekend, so I might miss a few things. But please, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from Shark. Goodbye from Dave. And I will see you very soon. Very soon. You might, I might even be on for a little while this evening over in Discord. And I'll see you as well on the gaming panels panel with Donna Tart and the gang in about an hour and a half. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Go be lovely to two shoes. Do 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 do.